Hello everyone and welcome back to more Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc, I guess. I don't know. I feel bad always repeating the exact same thing for every intro, but it is what it is. Today we're doing the trial. The second trial, the second class trial. Um, and of course Chihiro is on the main menu screen because the game hates me. The game thinks that I deserve to be sad and suffer. Also, I've heard that this is quite an emotionally fueled um, trial. So, I don't know, I'm quite, I'm, I'm quite looking forward to it. It's probably going to take the full two hours or something close to that. So let's just hop right in. Hey, what's up, Ashif? How are you doing? I'm trying to check something quickly. Give me one moment. Had actually forgotten to do something. Important. Oh, thank you. It's uh, it's not that bad, but it's not great. I'd say. I'll shave it eventually. I don't know. I'm just seeing how it looks. I feel better about it this week than I did like a week ago. Looked pretty bad a week ago. Anyway, let's hop right in. Let's begin with a basic explanation of the class trial. So Thanks. your votes will determine the results. Also, I, I don't know if you're going to be uh, that into this section, but hey, stick around if you want. Um, think I should keep it? I don't know. Anyway, let's get on with this trial, because it's probably going to take me two hours anyway. If you can figure out who done it, then only they will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong one... I'll let the bear explain for a second. I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and the one that deceived everyone else will graduate. So a student killed another student, and we have to figure out which student killed that student. Okay then. Yeah. So first off, let's talk about the murder weapon. It's called Danganronpa, by the way. Oh boy, the murder weapon. <laughs> What's up, Barbus and Flo? Welcome. First, we have to make clear what was used to deliver the fatal blow. Deliver. Not deliver, but deliver the fatal blow. Wow, I wonder what the murder weapon could be with this one truth bullet we have. Yeah. Chihiro's fatal injury. Oh, nice. It appears it was a head wound. Yeah. According to the Monokuma file, the killer used a blunt instrument. But what kind of blunt instrument could it have been? Got the buttons. I bet it was an iron pipe. Oh, uh, well, there's the. Interesting. I missed. That certainly would like to hear. I certainly would do that damage. Yeah, I don't know what he said, but it's fine. According to the Monokuma file, what kind of blunt? We get to hear them. I bet it was an iron pipe. Here we go. We get to hear them with their silly voices. Sped up. Nice. We got it. Easy game. Easy game. Do you agree that the object that dealt the fatal blow was the dumbbell? found at the scene of the crime sure if yes hero gets on our level blood and there was nothing else at the scene that could have caused that kind of injury mm. and the wound on the victim's head is consistent with the shape of the dumbbell for a second i thought that meant that your head looked like a dumbbell uh it hurts to as think far about as this i'm concerned there's no mistake and no room for doubt on this one yeah you looked at her head wound oh poor hina yeah, we did have to. Also, Kyoko is just like, yeah, I accept it, so all of you should as well. Yay! That's so creepy! I'm so glad I don't actually have to do the voices the whole time this stream. If you don't mind, it's quite taxing I will sometimes. proceed from here. Let's move on to discussion of the culprit. Although, I believe the criminal behind this heinous act is already quite clear. Good for you. What? For real? Not great for you. Hero's killer is. Yeah, who are you gonna say? Fiendish serial killer, Genocide Jack. Oh, that's great, Yakuya. Yeah, but who is that? Genocide Jack, the fiendish serial killer. Did he really kill Chihiro? A new element has been added to the non-stop debates. I kind of have to hear about it if it's new. For this debate, lines of white noise will appear to disrupt your reactions. Haha. -ha. Your truth bullets will disappear if they hit these lines. So think of them as obstacles in your uh, debate. Yeah, vote for Genocide Jack. Guys, vote for Jack. But there's a way to keep this white noise from getting in your way. Press the A button to attach the silencer, which 
you can use to shoot down the white noise. Hello, uh, Captain Caviar, or, um, Caviar? Captain Caviar? I don't know. But welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for stopping by with your Monokuma emotes. However, if you shoot any actual remark with your silencer instead of the white noise, the time limit will decrease, so take careful aim when you have your silencer out. I mean, it hasn't been a problem yet. Oh, but if your action difficulty is set to gentle, white noise, <laughs> white noise won't appear at all. It's not. It's set to the medium thing, I think. In which case, you can forget about the silencer and just focus on the situation in front of you. Well then, good luck and have fun. Oh, okay. It's 8 a.m. Oh boy. The culprit is Genocide Jack. I'm sure. Case closed. Wait, is that the white noise? But that's impossible. Wait, am I supposed to hit that? What makes it impossible? Well, I mean, come on. There's just no proof for it. Oh. But I just. So, speaking of. Genocide, oh, did I miss? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. I missed. I know who that is. Yeah. Well, thanks, Afumi. That was very helpful. Okay, so that. I just wanted to get an idea of where everything was uh, on that screen. That seems quite annoying. Yeah, so why do they make the pink text white noise? That seems like poor translation. The neck hurts that way. Huh? The thing Byakuya showed me in the archive. One look at that and anyone would be convinced. It shows that this was the work of Genocide Jack. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I need to... Let me just put on the... Oh, I I thought I was... I thought I was putting on the silencer by pressing A. No, it just shoots. That's great. That's awesome. That's awesome. Great description, game. Your tutorials are once again are making... Oh, I get time for shooting that as well. What makes it impossible? That's cool. Well, I mean, this is just a shooter now. There's just no proof for it. There we go. No, that's wrong. Yaku is a lamp. Yes, he is. I. I see. I see. I think I'm getting a handle on it now. Could be involved. What? M maybe. It's not like we read an entire case file. file. While I was looking around the archive in the library. R.P. Sayaka just appearing on the side there. I guess it's some kind of confidential file the police put together about the Genocide Jack case. I guess it's confidential because it says top secret on the front, but That's someone went through a lot shit, of effort to just what say murders. Like doing in the library? I don't want to speak over all the voice actors, but yeah. It is probably more trouble than it's worth. So let's forget about that for now. Hello, Ditsy T. Welcome to the stream. No, that's wrong. Sounds right. More importantly, it outlines all the specifics of every Genocide Jack case in exceeding detail. According to the file, there appear to be two defining characteristics in every Genocide Jack case. Genocide and Jack. The first is that Did a I make that joke? message is found written at the scene of have. every murder. Oh, that's right. Boob lust. What happened to Fumi's voice actor? And why did he say boob lust? I hate this. I hate Hifumi. It's actually blood lust. Idiot. But more important is the other characteristic. And it's something that has never been made public. Until right now. Made public? What the hell is it? Why don't you tell them, Makoto? What? Why do you make it sound like I did it? Why don't you... Isn't that right, Leon? <laughs> Poor Leon, he's dead. The other characteristic of every Genocide Jack case, which the world at large doesn't know. If I'm not mistaken, it has to do with the positioning of the body, where the victim, where the murder took place, how the victim was positioned. I got it. Maybe it's that there was another message. In every genocide Jack case, the killer suspends the body in a certain way. Yeah. Other than the killer, the only people who know about this are the higher ups in the police department. I am aware of what white noise is, by the way, guys. I just think that it's. Weird to have something that has a color in its name and then not use that color, okay? I do just pretend he isn't there sometimes. Now I understand. However, now I understand. Definitely I don't know. In the same I wasn't listening way. that closely, to be honest. I'm still getting into streamer brain. So, how did the culprit know about this when only I'm sorry, Barbus. police officials were aware of it? There's only one logical answer I can think of. Oh, he had potential. The culprit in this case I don't know. is the real Genocide Jack. Yeah. No fucking way! Wow, that's a good reaction. You're saying Genocide Jack is one of us? Apparently. In fact, 
It's oh, wow, he, did, he didn't miss a beat there. It's like, oh yeah, by the way, since I'm done expo uh, like giving exposition. Oh, thank you so much for the follow, uh, Ditsy T. Really appreciate it. It's like, oh yeah, now that I've finished just talking about that. Oh, it's Toko, by the way. I didn't bother telling anyone else that before now, but I guess I will. What? <laughs> Good point, Flo. Is Toko Fukawa. Okay. <laughs> Shut up. What? Oh, she seems quite surprised by it. Even though she was like, I'll keep Genocide Jack at bay. Toko has like blood of phobia or whatever, remember? Is Toko Genocide Jack? The answer is yes and no. Oh, so you're very helpful. Another Split personality, I'm guessing, yeah. is what he's alluding well, to. Gotta be so complicated. I don't know, some some sort of some sort of occult mystery or something. It's a riddle for sure, but I feel like I understand it. What? But he was so sure he said, I'll keep your promise or whatever. What it means for Genocide Jack to be Toko, but also to not be Toko. The answer is that she's not just one person, but multiple people, right? I didn't have to select anything there. Oh, we're having a zoom in on his- Oh no! It's the letter game! What? Um... Oh, it's... Uh, in, I don't know what this is. I don't know what the word is. Uh... What? I don't know what the word is. Welcome to the worst of them. Yeah, I, I don't know what the word could be. Is it like... I was thinking it's gonna be like split. Wait, okay, hold on. Give me a second. I'll pause it because I want to get this in one go. Also, we have a lot of viewers here. Hello, everyone. Welcome. Um, no, don't tell me yet. Just give me like a second. Oh, also, what's up, nerd? Um, you always come through on like some of the best streams. So yeah, thanks again. Um. Oh, thank you so much for the follow, uh, Captain Caviar. Really appreciate it. Um, it's really gross. Hmm. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of S's. Um, I can do this. Yeah, but I am going to pause for a second because I really have no idea what would have that. Um, because it's, it's dissociative uh, personality disorder for multiple personality disorder. Um, huh. Ha, ah, I'm stuck. I'm going to catch up on chat in, uh, for now. Uh, Byakuya uses uh, Bossy TW Inku hasn't had iced coffee in three weeks and is making it everyone else's problem energy. That is true. Okay, well, let me... Okay, how much time do I have? I think I have, like, nine minutes. I'm seeing a lot of S's, so maybe S's will work. No, I have five minutes. Okay, well... No, it's not S. Wait, do I hit with Y? Now I can't even remember. Maybe A? Nope. Um... I'm really not sure. Uh. Mm. Nope. Uh. Oh, it's the inaccurate, outdated term one. Oh. Um. Yeah, you keep hitting until it's right. Okay, yeah, I I'm remembering now. Oh, this was in 2010. Um. Lunatic? Uh... Non-cool social stuff? Okay, so I need to be thinking really not politically correct. Um... Jeez. Some maniac, that doesn't fit. Uh... I need a hint here. Can you give me the first letter? <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, so I'm... Okay. Uh... I really feel like I'm embarrassing myself. The word is related with the band Crimson King. Schizoid? Schizo! My God! <laughs> Oh, wait, that's a C. My bad. Wow, that's terrible. It's not even accurate. I understand. 
Is it because Genocide Jack has a split personality? That's not even the same thing! What? Okay, well, at least the, the King Crimson one really helped. Also, yeah, it's King Crimson, not Crimson King. Just by the way. Um. Huh? huh? I think I read that yeah. somewhere in the file, too. They thought that the suspect might have... What did they call it? Dissociative identity disorder. Oh, yeah. They're a schizo. Oh, okay. But it's still, not the same. It's just, that's that terrible. Is perfectly acceptable. <laughs> Byakuya's like, it's free speech. You can use whatever term. Screw political correctness. Toko's strange behavior after seeing the body is proof <laughs> enough that she has Fair a enough. split personality. Okoda's like, she's a schizo, and Byakuya's like, that's perfectly acceptable. The one thing that shows, uh, she fainted, she, her behavior changed. I got it! You're talking yeah. about how she started acting totally different than usual, right? Oh, I was thinking about this earlier. Think back. She fainted when she saw Chihiro's corpse, and then, when she woke up... I really want Makoto to die in the last case. I want him to be the victim. I'm fine, I'm fine. <laughs> Well, is that a dead body? Hey, are you dead? <laughs> she must have hit her head real hard when she fainted. The world has a front and a back and a top inning and a bottom and a sea of truth and a web of lies. This is quite concerning. I mean, she sounds completely different. She was acting oh funny, boy. that's for sure. That melancholy tone of hers completely disappeared. Oh boy. I did not notice. Thank you for pointing that out. Don't go assigning adjectives to my tone without permission. Like schizo. Not to mention, hey. once she regains Gross. consciousness and Sturdy. saw Chihiro's Sturdy body language. again, she was utterly calm. In other words, utterly calm. her is one personality that can't handle blood, and one that obviously can. <laughs> Sound like you said can both times. So when Toko trapped herself in her room, it's yeah, it's because she was scared of Genocide Jack? It's literally completely different things. I don't know why they thought that was okay. It was 2010, it wasn't that far back. If it was like the 90s, I'd be like, ah, of course. But no. And we get vibrating Toko again. I won't let Genocide Jack have control. Oh, whoops. I'll tr drive out the killer. Drive out the murderous fiend. That's how I do the stutter, by the way. The I reason just... she locked herself in her room wasn't to keep other people from getting in. It's a little it life hack. Her other personality from getting out. Ah, I see, Byakuya. Yeah. And you just knew this the whole time. Afraid of the murderous fiend inside of her, of killing even more people. How? Yeah. How can you know all this? Oh yeah. I do believe you I think she was going to say, her. how could you do this to me is what probably what she meant. What she's trying to say isn't, how can you know all this? Huh? No. What she wants to know is, how could you tell them? Oh, okay, I was right. Huh? Last night, just before Monokuma gave his motive speech, Toko and I had a strange conversation. Where she said, by the way, mine's going to say I have split personality disorder and that I'm... Actually, I'm Genocide Jack. She told me a most interesting story. Okay. She said a murderous fiend lived within her, and she was afraid it could appear and attack. Why did she tell you this? Why did she tell you this? Trepidation is what's caused Please. her to have such Please a share. weak attitude. Isn't that right, Toko? Wow, you're really betraying her trust like this, man. I was like, oh, maybe Byaki is like kind of endearing in how much of a dick he is. Nah, he's just a dick. This is all a lie. Right, Toko? I'm sorry, Hina, but it must be true. Tell anyone. Yeah, great. Let's take his word for it. He wants to become like the owner of a business, I think. No, he wanted to control the world. That's literally his motivation. I still think it's him. Promised? I can't believe you lied! <laughs> if you could make sure and make sure nobody calls me do me as well and make sure nobody calls me a schizo. <laughs> oh wow. You have only yourself. That's a great way of putting it. You came to me with your tragic little story. I didn't ask you to. Oh, so he's just pissed this that it's like... the real world. <laughs> not some romantic fantasy fairy tale. I didn't ask. 
That, yeah, it's such a, that's a really good description, uh, Caviar, or Captain, I don't know what you want. Besides, you broke your promise first. You Which said was? that as long as you were here, no matter what, you wouldn't let Genocide Jack kill anyone. But in spite of that promise... What if she's just wrong about being Genocide Jack? What if she's just not? Maybe she's another serial killer. Uh, I'm sorry, I couldn't ke keep our promise. But don't w w worry, never again. I I wouldn't let Genocide Jack have control ever again. You it's vibrating Toko, guys. Yeah, my promise. You would go out. Thank with you. Me. I assume it's not just the game. Otherwise, you know, you could watch anyone play the game. So I'll take that as a personal compliment. Thank you, T. That's the only reason I promised. How many times do I have to tell you? I never said that. But you weren't able to do it. You just couldn't resist that rush you got from killing, could you? It sounds like he's projecting. I, I tried. I swear I tried to control it. But, but... At the very least, if it is her, she had an, she had an accomplice. But your efforts were useless. What a disappointment. Did you enable her? Maybe he has a crush on Genocide Jack. <laughs> He doesn't like Toko at all, he well, just wants Genocide the Jack. The opening act is nearly finished. All that's left is to hear from the person in question directly. <laughs> person? I'm not reading that, but it was great. Y you oh, wow. Me. He's just gonna, like, cut open his finger and be like, haha, blood. Toko's body suddenly lunged backwards. A huge thud echoed across the courtroom. But in the next second... Well, hello there! Is it me you were hoping to see? Genocide Jill! <laughs> oh no. What the heck?! Are you leaning towards her, Fumi? I don't think you realize what you're doing. So you figured it out, huh? Well, whatever. What are you gonna do? Oh boy. I'm the ultimate murderous fiend, Genocide Jack! Or better yet, let's go with Genocide Jill! Even when her mouth is closed, her tongue literally goes into her shirt. It looks like it's going into her shirt. Like, that's a little tangent on the art. But my word, that looks wrong. What the fuck is this? Oh no. Oh no. Toko, what happened to you? Not Toko, that's a loser name. And what happened is a textbook split personality. Uh. One of them happens to be a serial she has, killer. She actually has a rubber band. And she just keeps it tucked in. <laughs> oh wow, that is a good laugh. You guys are right. So textbook, yeah. Yes. Textbook, yeah. Every single split personality is like a psycho thing, right? That's why they're all schizos. My word, this game is so, like, out of it. It's so... Uh, what's the opposite of progressive? I would say conservative, but it's not even like that. It's just misinformed. It's just spreading misinformation. It's terrible. Like I'm sorry. Murderous mind, sound and murderous body. Oh boy. This one is so different from the one we've come to know. I'm gonna punch her. Come on, do it, Sakura. Just punch her. Just. The world is composed of a front and a back, you know. She's scratching her cheek with her tongue. Just like how every inning has a top and a bottom, or how in the depths of every truth lives a little lie. You said a web of lies earlier. Behind every dark and gloomy soul lives another that shines as bright as the sun. I guess this is just antithesis. The character. <laughs> nice laugh, though. Glad I don't have to voice it. This is the murderous fiend Genocide Jack? This is... this is... this is beyond insane! Um, Miss Jack, uh, uh, Jill, can I ask you a question? She's right next to you. Oh, wow. Some of us think you might be the mastermind behind our entire situation. What are your thoughts on that? <laughs> oh, boy. Well, I'll tell you. What are your thoughts on that? It's like, could you give a statement on that? Then it's not true? Nope. Of course it's not true! How dare you try to link me? Oh, wow. Even the actual psychopath is like creepazoid. Wow, great. This is a great depiction of mental health, isn't it? Just. 
society and the outside world are totally powerless. I'm gonna say it, guys. It's pretty cringe. Okay, let's continue. I mean oh, please don't talk about Afumi's balls, please. Please. Oh, no. Sure, I'm a bloodthirsty maniac, but life is pain, right? To live is to hurt other people. Okay, the first part was booted, the second part not so much. It's very evil if you want to survive. The act of living itself causes pain for everyone. That's still part of Buddhism. Kidding again! <laughs> oh, what? Huh? This should be enough to convince you. This murderous fiend is responsible for Chihiro- Have you seen this before, Byakuya? You seem very unfazed. So there should be no doubt. A motive? Remember what Monokuma told us? Oh yeah. If someone didn't murder and graduate within 24 hours, yeah. an embarrassing memory or secret would be revealed. Well, let's assume that Toko's secret was about Genocide Jack. If a secret like that came to light, Toko's life would have undoubtedly been forever ruined. But like, the whole premise of the game kind of dictates that if she did act on that, it probably wouldn't have ended up going very well anyway. So she had a very clear moment hey, to never have that side of herself exposed. Who knows, man, maybe she would have got away with it too. Interesting. Very, very, very interesting! If it weren't for the stupid Matafumi. But sorry! As much as I hate to admit it, I'm not the culprit! Oh, okay. <laughs> Even <laughs> Kiyotaka has not been keeping up at all, but that confused him. But I cannot imagine anyone other than you could murder someone in such a bizarre. What? Could you explain that statement, please? Do you elaborate on that, Caviar? Maybe so, maybe so, but nevertheless, it's the truth. I mean, she didn't commit the first murder. Do you really expect any of us to believe you? Yeah. I could never believe a word you say, you monster! Yeah, could you, could you, could you possibly expand on that? Elaborate? Maybe. Maybe she's totally right about that, but something's still bothering me. What she said, I need to get some more details about all of this. Someone turned up the jams for the court. Oh boy, that's a lot of white noise. You say that, but do you really expect any of us to believe it? Perhaps I'm getting some hearts back. I don't think it's for shooting the white noise though. Oh, an alibi, huh? Now I'll an alibi. When you compare your past murders to this incident, yeah, the modus operandi matches completely. What more? Ah! <laughs> what? I couldn't shoot that one. Give it up. You killed her. The text shoots so slowly! I'm gonna move the mic a little bit further away. Um. Charles Sobraj. I don't know who that is. Ah, okay. Interesting. I'll have to research that more later. I have to prove that one day. Okay, it doesn't actually matter because I know what it was. I just missed. I didn't kill anyone! You say that, but do you really expect any I'm gonna get some more time in the meantime, I guess. Work on my aim. Why does the silencer shoot faster than the actual thing? That makes no sense. When you compare your past murders to this incident, the modus operandi matches completely. There we go. Oh, he's quite famous. Break. Are the methods of murder really exactly They're not. The same? There's no scissors. I'm not so sure about that. I think there's a slight difference between the Genocide Jack cases and this one. <laughs> you could say that- oh no, I'm not gonna say that, never mind. Huh? How's it any different? Just ignore my last statement. Strike it from the record. Oh, you don't know? Well then, human garbage! Let me tell you! It's so unnecessary. She's so mean. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> I guess Japan has a lot of- Great uh, support for the arts. Passion and conviction. I consider myself a professional, and I have a very particular way of doing things. First, I dye everyone's blood pink. Imagine you go to a fancy Italian restaurant. They're very picky about the noodles, the sauce, everything. I, 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 I don't think so. I but what happened to Chihiro? 
It'd be like if that same Italian restaurant started using Ragu or Chef Boyardee. I don't get any of these references. This is no creation of mine. Let me rephrase that. In any Italians in chat? Oh no. Another link to uh, Celeste being potentially a killer. There are two clear differences between the genocide Jack I need play and Foster. I thought it's not going to finish this in like two hours. There's one clear difference between the murders. I mean, there's like two, actually. In the photos from the other genocide Jack cases, look at the neck and stomach. Here you'll see a clear difference. The victim's fatal injury. The style of the bloody message. Nah, that's exactly the same. I got it! Yay, I recovered half a heart. The cause of death is different. Wow, okay, I didn't- I, I don't even know who that is. I guess I'm just going to be doing a lot of research after this stream, but I'll add my little bit. Uh, O.J. Simpson, there you go. His book, um, I Did It, and then the publisher said, no, you can't name it that, and so he changed it to If I Did It. Very cool. Ugh. In the genocide Jack murders. I guess we're fascinated with murder, but that's nothing new. Way. I'm just moving the microphone around because I can't find a good spot, but I'll stop touching it now. According to the case file, they were all apparently killed with a pair of scissors. It was actually pairs of scissors. <laughs> if you look very closely, like at the three that are just stabbed. Right? Ah, yes! That is remarkably different from the other murders. She was also hung up using... Yeah, hung up using uh, an extension cord. Wouldn't it be strange for someone... Instead of being stabbed the through the wrists. Fail, ...to suddenly change their method? And there's more. One more conflicting detail. But earlier you said there's only one thing that was different. Right. In my recipe of murder, if the bloody message is the tortellini... I guess Genocide Jill just loves Italian food. ...the body would be the pesto sauce! Ooh. Now I'm getting hungry. Please stop comparing killing... I'm eating that much today. So, are you saying the other difference has to do with how the body was arranged? How did you get that? That's right. The second difference is related to how she was suspended. In photos of the other genocide jack cases, all the other victims were stabbed through their hands. Here you'll see a clear difference. Um, what was used to suspend her is a big difference. Do you remember what the killer used to suspend her? Oh yeah, yeah. Do you remember what the- oh yeah, they I don't have to read it. kind of rope to hang her up by her wrists. Which song is that, by the way? What is your point? Well, in all the previous genocide jack cases, something else was- Is it gonna be another hangman's gambit? Is it gonna be scissors? Okay. Specifically, pairs of razor sharp scissors. I'm sure everyone hates that schizo thing, by the way. Am I on am I correct? I use my own specially designed scissors for the murders and the arrangement. Oh wow. You guys seem to know a lot about killers, hey? Like I said, I'm a Oh bonfire. Oh uh, right, right, right. I'm very picky about the tools I use. I can only sing so many words of that song. You know what else? Wow. Big Mac said there's two differences, but he's wrong. Big Mac? Makoto? Big Mac? Are you referring to me? He's Little Mac at best. Listen up, Big Mac. There's actually one more. He's 5'3. Huh? My word, you really didn't notice? Take a look at who. Oh, they were males. Each genocide jack case. That is true. Just waiting to be just However, I think she's just actually accidentally I don't know. We'll We'll get back to that. Figure that out, and it'll be plain as death why I preferences. Oh, you know. Killed that little lolly girl. Lolly girl. Uh, was Chihiro really a lolly? I don't think I wouldn't say that. Anyway, but yeah, I mean fastest way to learn about a craft is just to study the masters, right? That's what they say. Study the masters, get your references. There's a pattern surrounding the genocide jack victims and Shihira didn't fit it. If you look at the names of every victim, what you'll notice is... I, I think I figured it out. I know why she couldn't have killed Shihira. Um... Lover? Wow. I wish I had just hit that for the dialogue. Shihira was a girl? Just to hear what her response was. Bingo! We'll die right on the money! But here's the thing. We've spoken about this in other streams. For some reason, even before Chihiro was dead, we were like, is, is Chihiro possibly not a girl? Um, and the fact that we found evidence that the murder took place in the boys' locker room makes me think that maybe Chihiro was hiding the fact that they were born male. So, if that is the case, then 
Genocide Jewel actually did just clear themselves, kind of, I guess, because they thought it was, I don't know, maybe, maybe it's a double play. Who knows? What are you talking about? In all the Genocide Jack cases, all the victims had something in common. Wow. Ken Harada, 32, Tetsuhiro Honda, 17, Shoji Kaku, 23, Kano Ise, 14, Takeshi Yoshida, 30. Motsuna Taro, Takafumi Gono, Uchida Naohiya, Takeshi Masamue, Yuto Yumejima. There was no end to it. I'm trying my best. They were all... guys? Yes, Yasuhiro Hagakure. That's right! The people I kill with such passion and conviction are all adorable little men! And that was a fantastic delivery of that. I'm so embarrassed. I can't help it. Wando's worried because he's a cute little man. Boy, girl, and the mopey side of me just hates it. She said, "Oh no." Are you are you the one who actually writes the BL books from Toka? Hero was a girl and not an adorable little man. You wouldn't kill guys. Taka and Mondo are in danger. Italian chefs suddenly start making ramen just because they're both noodles? Don't be stupid. I have too much passion and conviction to cross that She line. really likes Italian food. Absolute reality of the one and only. We get it. You've clearly explained your hobby and your philosophy. But that's not all there is to it. It's a different matter entirely when you're forced to kill in order to survive. Quiet, lolly car! Wow. That was delivered interestingly. Kerr. Oh, I think that struck a nerve. I would never kill for a reason as petty as mere survival. Can you say that you had to earlier? Anyway. If by some fluke, I did kill to survive. Why would I bother with the message and arrangement? It'd make me the obvious suspect. She has a point. That does make some amount of sense. Plus, whatever reason I have for killing, I would never leave out my prized scissors. Who would go out of their way to use a big, stupid, heavy dumbbell? I'm not even sure she could, just like... Yeah. Well, we didn't actually see how heavy it was. But you'd have to be pretty strong to whack someone with it. Oh no. Maybe you used the dumbbell because you couldn't find any scissors in the school? Guys, I'm just gonna say it. Don't fetishize homosexual relationships in general. It makes... Very little sense. I guess we fetishize heterosexual relationships, but it, like we treat them completely different. I don't know, this is a whole thing. I'm not prepared to go on this whole tangent. Let's just continue. I just wanted to say it. Any scissors? I don't know why I started that tangent when I can't follow through on it. Don't just use any scissors. I only use my own set of high class envy of the entire world scissors. Okay, whatever. There still aren't any in the school. How are we going to treat Toko after this trial? If she survives. Are you sure about that? Oh wow. Uh, the pivots on her elbows though. She's fully equipped! Oh, it says done done in the background. That's right. Blood. So but this blood's in red for some reason. Yeah. Why would I resort to dumbbells or rope when I have my trusty scissors by my side? Well, I just, I, I mostly have a problem with it because it incentivizes, like, by fetishizing um, homosexual relationships, it makes, it encourages people to, like, push heterosexual people together, or at least one person who's heterosexual in that um, arrangement into, like, a position where they're, they wouldn't be comfortable. Like I said, I'm not prepared to go on this whole tangent, we actually need to play the game. I have no clue how to tie a good knot. <laughs> so rope's totally out of the question anyway. <laughs> no, I don't I'm not even an affiliate yet, so I can't have emotes. I, I want to, and we're like kind of on our on our way to getting affiliate. These dungeon Dungan Rompo streams have been doing very well, and I really appreciate it. Thank you again to everyone who's here. So um if I do get affiliate soon, then I will try to add some custom emotes. But I can't possibly have them at the moment. I just don't I actually have, have no the capability for it. I have no idea what's going on anymore. Could such a heinous villain really be innocent? But... Who knows? Body really was suspended, right? 
And nobody but the police knew about that. Hmm. Yeah. That's why we figured it had to be the real deal and not some copycat killer or, or someone who read the files. Actually, hold on, there is one person. One person who could have copied the Genocide Jack cases. Bam bang. Here's my answer. Byakuya, it's possible you- We've got a voice line, so it's probably right. It? Oh yeah, that's true as well. You'd have no problem gaining access to classified government documents or internal police records. Plus, you already looked through the Genocide Jack file before this all happened. Had oh, hadn't you? Sorry, I cut you off, Makoto. Are you saying Mr. Togami did it? I think I've been saying that for a while. Then, the reason he pushed the theory of Genocide Jack being the killer so hard was because he wanted to pin the crime on her. Yeah. Let's go. Uh, okay, here we are. Not affiliate gang. Oh, that's really cool. Um, I might take you up on that, T, but I do also do like uh, drawing myself. Like, not drawing myself, but I like drawing as well, so I might do it. But I don't know, if mine are bad, I'll go to you. Um, yeah. Adorable glasses, man! I'm on fire. I just wanted to move away from adorable glasses, man, so fast. I see. So now the suspicion falls on me. You seem quite happy about that. Then I must ask, when would you say I began acting suspicious? Surely you must have an answer. Yeah, first time we met, you kind of said some stuff like, um, this is a game of survival, and uh, we should, um, uh, you know, adapt and kill people. Yeah, you said something like that. Acting right before we discovered the body was a little strange. Ooh, wow. 220 followers? Nice. I only have, I think, 70... Okay, I've had two this stream. I think I'm on like 78. But hey, congrats on 220, by the way. That's that average viewers, man. That average viewers just kills. In the locker rooms. They're suspicious. Very suspicious indeed. Wouldn't you agree? Oh wow, he pointed us towards them. Huh? Suspicious? Also, the alarm only goes off if two people have found them. No, is it at least two? No, it's three people. It's three people. Yeah, the average view sucks, man. It's tough. I know the feel. Stream Danganronpa, apparently you get a lot of viewers that way. Hello, everyone. It seems nobody searched the locker rooms. Let's start with the girls' locker room. You wanted to go to the girls' locker room right away, right? But since you're a guy... I should have naturally thought of the boys' locker room first. Is that what you want to say? The I guess. Was Chihiro, a girl. Hence why I said we should check the girls- You had absolutely no idea Chihiro was the victim unless you killed her. What a slip. That, I'd say. What an idiot. That was the deadest giveaway ever. On the contrary, there's something very strange. How did he know Chihiro was dead? Okay then, what's so strange about it? That was such a huge slip. Share with the rest of the class. It was a clear contradiction in what Byakuya just said. I need to make it clear to everyone. A new element- oh, there's a new one. To non-stop debates. Would you like to hear more? First time playing the game, so yeah. Next we're going to add something called a truth flashback. If you aim at a weak spot and hold down the Y button on my controller. Yes? And you'll memorize that weak spot. How is there such a long pause between that? This memorized phrase can only be shot once as a single truth bullet. Oh, okay. If you shoot or change the truth bullet, it will disappear from the truth cylinder. Oh boy. However, you can use this flashback feature as many times as you want. Okay. If you don't seem to have the truth to a lie or contradiction in your loaded truth bullets, it might be wise to memorize a different weak spot and use that to make your case. Um, when's the best time to flashback? Well, you'll just have to use your keen wits, won't you? In this case, though, I will say that if you don't use a flashback, you won't be refuting anything. Well then, good luck and have fun! I wonder if the narrator is actually Monokuma and I should be doing the Monokuma voice for that. I hope not. Ooh, sorry to hear about your neck. So, you said Byakuya was acting kind of weird before we found the body. I'm not exactly sure which one I need to... If you're presented with the opportunity to check out- Shut up, Hifumi! One day you'll be the killer or the victim and I will be happy! That's a natural reaction for any guy! I hate you. 
The victim was Chihiro, who was a girl. So of course I would suggest we check the girl's locker room first. There was no time for pointless distractions. Is this what I should do? What's so strange about that? I have 11 minutes. I wish you'd take me with you. Do you mean you have three hours of sleep or? Because I mean, that's rough. It doesn't make sense how he could have known before we even found out. Okay, I need to make that contradiction clear. So, you said Biakia was acting kind of weird before we found the body. What? Before we found the body, Chihiro was the victim. That's a clear contradiction. It's 9 a.m. Oh, boy. Well. Oh, boy. Why are you watching this stream? Come on, Makoto. Don't scare me like that. It makes me think something weird is going on. Shoot. Ah, uh, okay, well, at least I had some hearts. There must be a contradiction in there somewhere. No, there was, and I so, nailed it. Was acting kind of weird before we found the body. But he was acting weird... How? If you're presented with the opportunity to check out the girl's locker room... Maybe I should say before we found the body, and then Absolutely. maybe I should reverse it. That's the victim was Chihiro, so of course I was... There was no time. What's so strange? You wish you'd take me... Okay, let me, let me switch it around. Maybe they don't have it set reverse. I'll do it that way. Let's see. Maybe so, that'll do it. You said Byakuya was acting kind of weird before we found the body. But yep. he was acting weird. If you're presented. Shut up, Mifumi. Okay, I think it's next to speak. No. Okay. Come on. The victim was Chihiro. There we go. It was swapped around. Why does it not have it going backwards and forwards? That makes. Ugh, okay. I'll tell you what's so strange about that. Contradictions contradict each other. It should be reversible. Anyway. Because up until we actually discovered the body, we couldn't have known who the victim it's was. It's not even that hard to program. Okay, whatever. I'm getting hung up, hung up on this for no reason. So your claim that you went to the girls' locker room first because Chihiro was the victim doesn't hold up. I see. That's a good answer, I must admit. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. No, it isn't. You literally said I knew who the victim was before we went into the locker room and found the body. Okay. Good luck with your sleeping, uh, Captain Caviar. Hope you sleep well. What's wrong? Is that it? Surely you've got more than that. Go ahead. Show us. What are you talking about? You just outed yourself. Why do I have to prove more? What's with Byakuya's attitude? It's like he doesn't even care. I caught him cornered, but he's acting like he, uh, like it has nothing to do with him. Ah, uh, he just wanted an arrival, I guess. You're not finished already, are you? There must be more to it. There is. I think. Yeah? There is more to it. Think about it. Kyoko should have just challenged him, man. We just talked about he should have just spoken to Kyoko. And past Genocide Jack incidents. The proof you're looking for is hidden in there. Okay, thanks, Kyoko. Oh. Proof that I'm the culprit, you mean? Yeah, yeah. Everyone talks about Mondo's corn hair. Okay. I'm here for it. <laughs> the protag arrives, indeed. The differences between this case and the other genocide Jack murders. The evidence that proves Byakuya is responsible is hidden in there? What could it be? Make your arguments. Library desk lamp. Is that the only one? Okay. Should be pretty easy, then. The difference between the cases? You want me to explain it again? When I want to kill, I use my very own special scissors. And okay. I use those same scissors to arrange the body. Ah! But ah! Missed. Okay, well, let's just see what the rest of it says. It was some kind of rope. Was it not? That's right! It absolutely was! Then there must be something very fishy indeed about it. you say must? Hey, Byakuya, where'd you get it from, huh? I'd never seen that rope before in my life. That's a lie! Oh, I missed it as well! Uh, why is my bullet shoot so slowly? This is possible, but first... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I want to shoot... The difference between the two of you is the one I want to kill. I use those things! But Chihiro was for some kind of... That's right! It absolutely was! Then there must be something very fishy and deep. Hey, Byakuya, okay. where'd you get it? Here it comes. I'd never seen that rope. Ah, no! Obviously, somebody else must have had it hidden away. It wasn't there when I shot because I was, uh, okay, well, let's skip through again. 
I see why I have 10 minutes for this. The first trial went so much more smoothly. I'm sorry for shouting, everyone. No! Ah! Why is this suddenly an action game? Why is the timing so precise? Oh, okay, that's gone. She indeed about that rope. Hey, Byakuya, where'd you get it from, huh? It's just like a tiny I've never thing, seen right? that rope before in my life. There we go. That was like the last frame I could get it as well. Oh, did I? Oh, whoopsie. I forgot about that this case, though. Well, I got the timing right, I guess. I guess I'll remember. What button was it? It was right bumper. Okay. To slow down time. I'll remember this time. Thank you for the reminder, Flo. Yeah. Yakuya. You've used the extension cord in the library more than once, haven't you? It's like he laid out the evidence. The extension cord that was in the library all this time? Yep. Went missing after the murder. And there's no way someone who uses that extension cord as much as you do wouldn't discover that fact. And Bianca yep. must be the one who took the extension cord. I can't imagine any other possibility. Jamming to the court. That's really what you think? Then your conclusion is something like this? I killed Chihiro in the girls' locker room, then hung her up and wrote that bloody message. Yeah, he did it for us, yeah. That's exactly it. I intentionally oh, yeah. made it look Good point, like Jack. Jack was behind it. Okay, well that's basically a confession, that right? right? Yeah. Yeah, sounds perfect. He's doing it again. He's totally calm, totally unconcerned. As if he's not even involved. Wait, not even involved? I asked you if you think that's what happened. Oh, wow. <laughs> he has to take quite a few sick days if he wants to watch all of One Piece, though. Hell yes, that's what happened. So that's Hello. it, right? Biaki is the killer. Hello, 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 hello. I don't disagree with not disagreeing. Huh? He kept calling this a game, right? So he'd be totally willing to do something like this to win. Um... Sorry, but could we hold on just a second? Guys, I, I think I think I might have done a too good a job. I think I'm gonna get us all killed. Talk about this a little more. Why isn't Biakia defending himself better? Literally means all of us die if we get this wrong. Do we really need to? We've already decided who did it. Shut up! I know, but still, there's something that still bothers I still think it's Celeste. Is that right? And what, pray tell, is still bothering you? Nothing seems to be bothering you. We're all gonna die. Then disguised my crime. Okay, fine. Specifically, I dressed it up to make it look like it was the work of a homicidal Jeez. psychopath. Jeez, you're doing a great job of making this harder for me. What about all that bothers you? Sheesh! Leave Celeste alone, maybe. Wait, what was that just now? Something's not right. Jihiro's body was definitely found in the girls' locker room, but does that mean... Can I really just accept what Byakuya just said as the truth? The answer is no. No, I don't think so. There's definitely something off about what he said. The scene of the crime. I got it! Yay, I healed. You say you killed Chihiro in the girls' locker room, right? Okay. But are you sure about that? Isn't it possible that the murder took place somewhere else? How disappointing. What? What kind of question is that? Even in the world of disappointments, this is a true letdown. That's quite a funny line to me. He was found dead in the girls' locker room. There is absolutely no question about that. Yeah, I didn't say that. Crime have been anywhere else. Well, I think it's entirely possible that she was killed somewhere else, then carried there later. Good for you. Along with the rest of the murder scene. What? The rest of the murder scene? <laughs> that, that unsettled him. Okay, bud. That was awfully specific. I think I may have misread Please that. tell me you have a reason mm. for saying all that. I believe I do. Who's jacked? Who could pick? Please, not Sakura. Please, I don't want it to be Sakura. It was in the boys' locker room, so it couldn't have been Sakura. There we go. That's my logic. Did you just? Did I just take you off your guard? Oh, take you off guard? Is that what that said? Is that a? Is that an expression? Take you off guard? 
I don't know if that's an expression. When the story suddenly moved to the crime scene, Byakuya had been so confident up to now. Maybe Byakuya never ever, never even realized that the actual scene of the crime could have been somewhere else. He's we'll just, just dumb, permission. I guess. What do you mean she was killed somewhere else? Come on, Makoto. If there's any chance the murder took place somewhere else, let's see the proof. Why did he want to get caught? Evidence that shows the murder took place somewhere else. There's something that was switched between the boys and the girls' locker rooms. Um... The mats. Is that Sakura's account, or is it boys' locker room carpet uh, posters, right? Present key item. Blood was found on the poster in the girls' locker room. The poster featured a big-breasted supermodel, popular among young boys. Meanwhile, the poster in the boys' locker room was for... Um... I mean, this was switched. I got it! Okay, and I healed, so I was right. killed somewhere else is the poster that's hanging in each locker room. And it's voiced as well, so. Your proof is some posters? It's a lot of effort to voice lines that are wrong, guys. The poster in the girls' locker room was... Just look at Disco Elysium. A picture of a big boot game. supermodel. But don't you think that's kind of strange? Why would the girls' locker room have a poster like that? Wow, okay. I bet those massive jugs of hers were totally fake! Meanwhile, the boys' locker room had a poster of the super popular boy band Tornado. I don't see the problem. It says boy in the name. Boy band. It's for the boys. Again, that doesn't really seem to belong in a boys' locker room. No, no, no. So I just said boy band. Come on. Maybe the posters were switched? It's pretty obvious. And there's one other thing I noticed about the locker rooms. You know what I'm talking about. Right, Sakura? Oh, right. Okay, I thought we were accusing Sakura for a second, but it's because she spilled her coffee. Coffee, aren't you? Protein coffee? Yeah, uh, Hifumi has never heard the word protein. While I was in the girls' locker room earlier, I spilled some protein coffee on the carpet. But I noticed that after the murder, the stain had been totally yeah. scrubbed away. <laughs> Tell me why I ain't nothing but a I don't know, I don't even uh gym, so I can't make this joke for very long. The door blade Celeste, oh yeah. No, it's not that the stain was scrubbed away. It was moved. Um here it is. I got it! I actually meant to stain on the click a different button, but alright. It worked. Wasn't scrubbed away. In fact, I found it on the boys' locker room carpet. <gasps> That's definitely the stain from my protein coffee. Sure. Then, does that mean that the carpets were switched too? But why would anyone do that? To move the murder scene from one locker room to the other. It's certainly plausible, don't you think? What? In other words, Kiyotaka is not keeping up. Swap the scene of the crime. The bloodstained poster and carpet were moved along with the dead body. By doing this, the killer was able to change the entire room. Yeah, this is a very long way of saying this. I can certainly follow your reasoning, but why would the culprit bother doing that? Because they spilled blood everywhere, huh? Why would they go through all that trouble of switching the scene? And also to deflect blame. Actually, an even bigger question. If the murder did take place in the boy's locker room, I think we're gonna have to, be, have to start playing a little bit faster, guys. It's already been an hour. Because chairs actually. You have to swipe your e handbook across the card. Yes, Chihiro also could have just used someone else's handbook. But Chihiro's handbook should have only allowed her access. So maybe Chihiro is actually a girl. I don't know. We'll find out. Way to get into the boys locker room to begin with. No, she did have a way, and I can tell you what it was. I highly doubt that. Why would Yasuhiro know that? Shut up! I'm telling you, I know how she could have done it. What is he gonna say now? Is he right? Could Chihiro really have gone into the boys locker room somehow? Well, he is right, but I don't know if Yasuhiro is smart enough to know that. So I'm suspicious. I'm still wondering about the 16th chair or spot. Broken E handbook. Did Yasuhiro break it? Is it really possible? Oh, okay. Could Chihiro really have gotten into the boys' locker room somehow? Wow, that's a lot of statements. Yeah? She must have hacked her e handbook. She no. was the ultimate programmer after all. Oh god, don't get into that. No problem for her. As a programmer, I don't I know nothing about hacking. She 
was the thing that was in the main hall. Oh, this is like brute force. What thing? I'm talking about Leon's handbook. Of Come on. Course. Yeah. No, that's wrong. Break. I didn't even have to use the slowdown time. No, I don't think slow Shiro time. used Leon's handbook. It's broken. Why not? Because Leon's handbook was broken. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I like Flo's well, theory. Then, Better yeah, than all programmers are hackers. Huh? I am struck silent by how quickly you gave up. Cybersecurity is a very specialized field of computer science, just by the way. Plus, isn't there a regulation against using someone else's handbook? Whenever someone talks about cybersecurity, it goes over my head, and I literally study computer science. Not that I'm an expert, I'm just pointing it out. Your handbook is prohibited. Since every group is being attacked in this case. Mental health. Um, not heterosexuals. And, yeah, I'm just gonna add programmers. Yeah. I feel like my message didn't really go through. Anyway. In other words, you could borrow a dead person's handbook all you want, and you'd be safe. He looks disappointed. Hit the nail square on the noggin! Of course, if it were broken, that wouldn't make any sense anyway. So then, she must have hacked her, like I said. She used her ultimate programmer skills and... Psst! You can't fix an e-handbook! The instant you open one up, a security buzzer starts blaring! So, if she didn't use Leon's handbook, and she didn't modify her own handbook... What did I say? I'm sorry. I don't know what I said. Maybe Mr. Nyagi's initial assumption is just... wrong? I did say not heterosexuals, right? It seems like there's no way she could have got into the boys' locker room. I'm trying to replay what I said. So I guess so. It's a bit hard. Because <laughs> I'm also reading the game, okay, listening to the text, I reading chat. If I slip up, I'm sorry, guys. Is that it then? See, like, for example, I just missed all of what was just said. Um. Okay, wait, wait, wait. But still, I don't know what else I can Hold do. On a second. Okay, protagonist is here. I agree with you, though. I think you're on the right track. Okay. What the? You finally decide to open your mouth, and that's what you've got to say? That wasn't the first thing she said, but There's all right. There's no way she could get in the boys' locker room, right? So. Why are you so sure she couldn't get in? There's still one other way she could have gained access. She could have what? just punched the door open. What are you talking about? Really. She would have been shot with the is there? machine gun. Well, to explain that, why don't we take a little break from the trial? I'd like you all to come- Oh, is this an intermission, or- Wait, 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 wait! Just what do you think you're doing?! I'm on Monokuma's side here. Don't worry. I thought this was this gonna be one thing. This will make the whole trial more exciting. I'm sure that thought must please you. Wow, she knows how to play Monokuma. Huh? It'll make things more- What did I say? I'm still trying to figure out what I said wrong. What was the oof Josh Jesus for? Well, all right then. I declare an official class trial recess. Let's just ignore my anxiety about this, all right? For real? A recess. Well, then, what is it you want to show us? It better not be boring or I'll be very unhappy. I like the rhythm of that. I have no doubt it'll meet your lofty expectations. So, shall we go? Don't worry about it. It's like the worst thing you could say. Just wanted to know. So before I even knew what was happening, the class trial had... Oh yeah, I was doing an American accent. The class trial had been put on hold. We headed off with Kyoko in the lead. Okay, worry about it. That's what I'll do if you say don't worry about it. Where she took us was... The girl's locker room. Fumi, get out! Get out! We've already searched this place top to bottom! Oh wait, where's the- we still need the duffel bag. I'd like you to examine the victim's body one more time. Where? To check it again? Be sure to examine the entire body very carefully. I don't like where this is going. Examine her carefully. Get out! Hifumi! our hands? No way, no way, no way, no way, no way! Oh, okay, he's afraid of 2D. I mean, 3D. Probably best if I don't run my hands all over a girl's dead body. 
I guess Makoto will do it, hey. It's not that I'm creeped out or anything, it's just... based on religious grounds, you know? Yes, you are. Very <laughs> well. religion, but... I'll do it. Oh, this is gonna be awkward. But, but you're a girl. You shouldn't have to touch a dead body. Just let one of the boys- Is that one of the rules of chivalry? No, it's okay. I think Chihiro would rather have a girl examine her. Well, if I'm right about what we're about to find out, maybe not. So just leave this to me. So yeah, I think this is where we find out that Chihiro is a guy, or at least born male. What is this? Some kind of secret girl on girl action? Who is letting her out? Why isn't she in handcuffs? That's not it at all. Stop screwing around! Also, I thought you were boy on boy. Okay. Anyway. Here I go. I'm sorry, Chihiro. Please excuse the intrusion. Putting her hands together in a brief prayer, Sakura then began to quietly examine her body. Be sure to check her entire body, and I believe we will solve this How did Kyoko figure this out? Her entire That's just what I want to know. I know you say that, but... What? This is... What is this... Well, I think we know what would make her scream. What is it? Oh, yeah. Okay, good point, Flo. Not possible. It's not possible. Oh no, she went Ultra Instinct. Sakura's eyes were staring wildly at Chihiro's lifeless form. Her massive frame trembled. This... this girl is... It's a, it's a guy. Is what? Is a boy! We accidentally figured this out a few streams ago. Ah, I see. So she was actually... I mean, we flip-flopped on it because there was evidence against it, but hey. I'm sorry that I'm not surprised by this, but I won't, like... I'm not gonna overact. I'm trying to keep it genuine, you know? Why does Fumi look so happy about that? Anyway. What? You're joking, right? I wouldn't joke about this. Yeah, I'm not messing with Sakura. I don't think she's joking about this. It's really true? Chihiro was... a guy? Makoto's like, I guess I have to check. Hmm? Oh, what? You guys didn't know? Heck, I knew that right off the bat! I will point out that one of the pieces of evidence we used to say um, Chihiro was a girl was that the UI's... Um, all of the UI used female pronouns when we tried to interact with her, like uh, give her this present and she was doing this. But um, I guess if you make the argument that it was from Makoto's perspective the whole time, then he was just confused, which is fair. Chihiro Fujisaki was totally a guy! I'm so sad about it. He was a cross-dresser? Oh, they were really on fire! I wish I had killed him! Wow, why isn't she in handcuffs? That's what Kyoko wanted to show everyone, huh? Interesting. I guess. <laughs> yes, that certainly does make things much more exciting. Now let's ride this wave of excitement back to the courtroom and get back to the trial. I have a limited camera space. I need to keep playing around with it. <clears throat> I do apologize for keeping you waiting. Now then, let's resume the class trial. Oh, yeah, that's right. Ah, how's the game gonna handle that speed? I just learned of the shocking revelation that Chihiro was actually a boy. Oh boy, Not I mean, we have we offended today? We've offended everyone, I think. <laughs> I guess, yeah. Also, hello, uh, Gamma, Gamma Tech, Gamma Tech, 94, is, welcome Chihiro to the stream. Was not a girl, I think that's the first message you've sent. To think that Chihiro was actually a guy, the thought had never even crossed my mind. And because the victim was male, he would have had no problem gaining access to the boys' locker room. Ugh, 2010, hey? 2010. Assuming his handbook did, in fact, list his gender as male, then yes, that would be true. Pretty sure... I don't know. Of course his handbook said he was a boy. He dressed like a- Oh, great. he was a boy through and through. Monokuma said, what's on the birth certificate? Uh, uh. So then, there should be no issue with Makoto's Not initial great. assertion. Not great. Not a good job, game. The victim was killed in the boy's locker room and was then later moved to the girl's locker room. 
and the killer could have easily oh, well. used Sayaka or Junko's handbook to get into the girl's locker room. So Chihiro really was killed in the boy's locker room? Yep. I still don't understand the motive for moving the body, but yes, that does seem plausible. <laughs> Boy, yeah. Mono, what's between your legs, Kuma? Well, I must admit, I did find it rather odd. I Mono Kuma has like a little off. There was a certain incongruity to his female. Shut up, Biakia, you're an idiot as well. Also, I'm wondering if they're just flipping because for some of these poses, I I think they've seen it. I think I've seen it like flipped around, so I wonder if they're just flipping it on the Y axis and then there's like inconsistencies, but I haven't found any yet. Ah, uh, oh well. This is the most titillating situation! Don't use that word near Hifumi, so please. So now everything has been connected. All the mysteries have finally become. All of them, even who killed Chihiro. Okay, oh wait, well, no, that one hasn't. Connected or clear or whatever. We still think you're the killer, remember? I mean, he was really confused that they were killed in the boys' locker room, so I don't think so. Interesting. This has become very interesting indeed. Yeah, if, wait, I think the pin might have switched, so maybe they are just flipping it on the y-axis. Lazy, lazy. But I mean, nah, I don't like that when it's a character. You, you can do Makoto? it with a bunch of other assets, After but if it's a character... We've learned, do you still think Byakuya's the killer? Well, without a doubt, Byakuya is the one that made Chihiro's death look like Genocide Jack did it. But... but I... Oh, an accidental accomplice? I think he might not actually be the killer after all. What? But aren't you the one who accused him in the first place? He just seems to be too... easygoing about all this. Like he's enjoying us solving the mystery. This is a good point. Acting? It makes it seem like it doesn't have anything to do with him. I mean, yeah, but that's not really... That doesn't really hold up in court. Plus, the evidence... Let's find out what, what it actually says. How can I put it? Over. I'm surprised he knew that word. He consciously chose to use the extension cord. Makoto... It could connect him to the murder. Makoto thought hangout meant go to a hangar, but he can use the word overt. Wow. Flo, I don't know why... Automod hates you. I turned down like the, the the settings as well after so many of your messages got flagged for no reason. Um, but now stupid idiot got caught. So there you go. Added term, added permitted term, stupid idiot. I had to allow that message. Yeah. <laughs> the protagonist is talking, so I better listen. That's how I see it. And Byakuya, when you found out the murder took place in the boys' locker room, it seemed to rattle you. And then again, when you found out Chihiro was actually a guy, yeah. if you really were the killer, that stuff wouldn't have had any effect on you. Yep. So that's your thinking, huh? Well, it bothers me that you don't have more concrete. You're literally about to get caught for murder, and you want... You want... Huh? It's fine. I guess I'll... Okay, maybe it isn't. Correct ...for the time being. Okay, the pin didn't actually move. I was looking after it this time. Mark it as... correct? Yep. He's right. I am not the culprit. I am a teacher, and I just marked it correct. Good work, Makoto. I just happened to come across the corpse in the girls' locker room and decided. Why did you decide to do that? Are you fucking with us right now? No, I am not effing with you. <laughs> I'm telling you the truth. I can relate. I don't like saying the word unless hard to I find it appropriate. Go ahead. Find it very hard to believe. You're free to be executed along with the rest of us. If you're really telling the truth, then why? Why do you do that to his body? My reasons hardly matter right now. Uncovering the culprit is much more important, wouldn't you say? So Chihiro was female presenting, right? So Chihiro did prefer female pronouns, right? It seems like a bad time to start using the male pronouns, right? When they're dead? Great job. Now then, oh if boy. it wasn't me, who was it? Is this even a big thing in Japan? I don't know. Like, well, what are the, what's I the... I think I can say for sure without talking about it a little more. What's the status of identity politics in Japan? We're I reckon it's a bit behind, but I'm not sure. We're all good, you... aren't we? I thought it was clear Byakuya did it. Did you get the, um, Rakugo actors who have to play multiple parts, I guess. And I don't know, do you, you get those actors as well who dress up as women? I... Oh 
okay. Okay, you think you would have preferred he? Fair enough. I mean, I'm just going off of the fact that for the five-ish days that we were together in the school, no one seemed to mind, well, Chihiro didn't seem to mind he and, I mean, she and her. No, I'm with Makoto. If there's any doubt whatsoever, we need to explore every possibility. Because if we're wrong, we all die here. That's true. Very well, then. But we'll see. You too. I stand to be corrected. Damn straight. Count me in. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I can't wait to find this out and try to piece it together live. Of course I do. What am I, an ant or something? I actually missed a previous line. Um... Okay, right. Anyway, let's I'm caught up. This all I got too involved in the identity so politics. To make our decision. That's yeah. very true. And this mo uh, monocum is like, no. Lives are all on the line. Excellent. Then shall we resume our game of hide and seek? Uh, you really do make it tough not to think it's you, Byakuya. But if Byakuya didn't do it, then who's the real killer? Who murdered Chihiro? There's one thing we can be sure that we know about the killer. The killer was able to gain access to the real murder scene, which means the killer is probably a guy. Since the crime scene was the boys' locker room, you would need a boys' handbook to get in. Since Leon's handbook is apparently broken, the killer would have had to use their own. In other words, it had to have been a guy. That's still not enough. I need to find some more clues. Okay, now I have no clue who actually did it. If it's not Byakia and it's a guy. Maybe it was us. Was it just a hero? Yes, the hero was with Celeste, uh, not Celeste, was with the Chihiro a few times. A single clue that might lead us to who did it? Hmm. Clues are one thing, but did nobody get a look at the killer? I'm sure if someone saw the killer, they would have said something by now. Yeah. Perhaps maybe. someone saw the victim at some point. Even that might be enough for now. I'm watching out. Yeah. All we need right now is any kind of new info. It's a ah no! Oh wait, I need to slow down. Who saw the victim? The killer. And that's a good. That's a good point. It's not like they're just gonna. It's not the only part, but yeah. Came over. I'll read that long message in chat as soon as the sequence is over. No, not game over. I hate you so much, Shofumi. Can you never speak again, please? Okay. Isn't there a single? Okay, yeah, there it is. Clues are one. Did nobody get a look at that? I'm sure if someone saw the killer, they would have said something. Wait, I think I skipped over it. Perhaps someone saw the victim at no, no, some no. point. Even that might be enough for now. Yeah. All we need right now is any kind of new info. Damn it! It was right. It just slipped over it. Okay. Okay. Shoot. There's a contradiction in there somewhere. I just wanted to Isn't give new info. A single clue that might lead us to who did it. Should I just shoot this now? Clues are one. Now I'm unsure. Did I'll build up some time though. Look at the killer. I'm sure if someone saw the killer, they would have said. There's no weak spots in that one. Saw the victim at some point. Even that might be enough for now. I actually forgot what all the lines were. All we need right now is any kind of new info. Should I just say it now? It's all over. I tried it on that one. Who saw the victim? The killer! And only the killer! No. Ah! Okay, wait, let me restart again. I guess we'll do it. I guess we'll do it there. Oh, Hifumi. Chipmunk Hifumi is just the worst. I'm sure if someone saw the Okay, this is on like one of the late ones. Okay. You want to know who saw the victim? Okay. The killer! And only the killer! There we go. Okay, let's read. I believe someone else did see the victim. Okay. He was I just read Flo's last comment. Celeste? Oh wow. Oh no. And unfortunately, something like that has been happening where people keep calling me Hifumi's friend, even though I hate the guy. So I don't know. 
I kind of, I mean, I was about to say I feel bad for them, but you said they were a bit of a dog, so I don't really feel that bad for them. Kind of sounds like they got what they deserved. Now that you mention it, yes, I did see him. But guys, please stop saying Hifumi's my friend, okay? Uh, really? I'd appreciate it. Oh, but I suppose only Makoto knows about this. Your accent switches between like three regions you had no idea. per sentence. Did you? That is why you're all making such ugly noises. Whatever! Just stop! It was last night, right before night time. I saw Chihiro in the dormitory warehouse. Yes? I saw him stuffing a track jacket into a duffel bag. And then, I assume, he headed off to exercise. Yeah, <laughs> nice. Tucker's got nearly Jojo eyebrows. But we didn't find anything like that at the murder scene. If you don't know, Jojo Kujo's eyebrows go into his hairline, and I think every design, at least for the anime. It seems likely that the culprit destroyed them to get rid of any evidence. And that is when he said something that struck me as rather odd. Yes? Well, I better get going. I'm kind of in a hurry. Chihiro told me he was in a hurry. Yeah. But why would he be in a hurry? Only if someone oh, yes. was waiting for him, I should think. Oh, no. So, Mr. Fujisaki was on his way to meet with someone, and then they were going to work out together? Let me just say, I'm not super comfortable with all the male pronouns at this point. I would just go with they, because I'm not sure. I wouldn't be sure at this point. He exercise with us plenty of times, and he always declined. Because it's not like we can ask, right? I guess we'll find out eventually, but still, I... Well, he was afraid yeah. you'd find out the secret he was hiding, right? Which means that conversely, he must have trusted whoever he was meeting with very much. Do people mind they as like a neutral one? Like if you're not sure? Enough so that he was willing to risk his secret being revealed. Oh, the Marvel friendship! Why am I getting into this right now? I want to keep tracking this. The point is, whoever he met up with is the culprit, right? So we just gotta figure out who it was. Yeah. I really hope it wasn't Mondo. I really hope it's Yasuhiro or someone I don't care about. No, you already have what you need to make the connection. Okay. Huh? You know who the killer is. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, they really switched very quickly, didn't they? Okay, well, we'll find out. So I'll, I'll try to use that motivation when we get there to justify my own choice. Seriously? Of what pronouns I use to address Chihiro nature. Who, who is it? Who's the killer? It's not Mondo Otaka. I refuse to believe it's Mondo Otaka. jacket and duffel bag the killer disposed of. Focus on the details of these items, and it should become obvious who was waiting for him. Okay. Are you sure about that? You really think we can figure out who did it based on two pieces of evidence that we don't have? I don't have the connection yet, guys. It's not in my brain yet. What? You want to track down some yeah, exactly. fingerprints or something? Even if we had the equipment for that, we wouldn't know how to use it. As was noted, the evidence is already gone. There's nothing to get fingerprints from. Maybe, but we can make certain inferences if we just take the time to talk it out. Yeah. We can work it out. We say. can work it out. But fine. Celeste, did you notice see it, it my way? way. Bag or jacket? Yeah, it was it was Leon, obviously. Dude got double kills, one of them posthumous. The bag was just a normal duffel bag from the warehouse. All the bags in there are the same, so I can't imagine what would make that one special. Well, if I remember right, there was a decent variety of mm -hmm. tracksuits to mm -hmm. choose from. Yes? I don't know anything about this. Connection between the culprit and Chihiro's jacket? I don't know. Let's explore that and talk a bit more about the jacket he took. Kyoko, can you please stop being so vague? We get it, you're the protagonist. We just want to play as you, but come on. Does Chihiro's track jacket really hold some clue about the killer? Somehow it's really hard to believe. I guess I'm just dumb. 
The music's good though. I enjoy it. Okay, Celeste's account. On First Etsy. Of all, we know where Kikiro was the headed. Her clothing. He was on his way to go exercise. That's fine. So next we have to ask. Why did he choose the specific tracksuit that he did? Like the color blue. What do you mean the specific tracksuit? Oh, okay. He picked that tracksuit. Wait until we get to V3. I do own all of them, so it's not really a problem. So, what I just haven't played them. Is, the killer was wearing the same blue tracksuit as him? Mm. My tracksuit is black. Okay. I, I don't even have a tracksuit. Doesn't surprise me. Because exercising sucks. Oh, I hate I that. I white tracksuit, personally. I got it from the warehouse, if you must know. Okay. Did any of that really help us get any closer to figuring out? I didn't, I didn't even see any white noise. No way. Not a chance. You heard him, right? What he just said without even realizing it? No. She's right. What he just said now is really odd. How did he even know something like that? First of all, we know where Chihiro was headed. Yeah, wearing the same. Wearing the same tracksuit, right? That so came out of nowhere. Why did he choose the specific tracksuit that he did? What do you mean, the specific tracksuit? Hold on, I can't look at chat. I got it! He picked that tracksuit because it matched the one the culprit was wearing! No, wait, hold on. I guess so it's not Taco, though. What you're saying is... The killer was wearing the same blue tracksuit as him? Oh, no! Oh, damn it, it hit the wrong statement. It's so much pride. Dang, he's missing it. Yeah, sorry guys. Brain isn't always operating at 100%. First of all, we know where Chihiro was heading. But I think when they said blue tracksuit, that was the giveaway. But please, it can't be Mondo. I don't want it to be Mondo. Please. The one the culprit was wearing. So, what you're saying is, the killer was wearing the same blue tracksuit as him? No, that's wrong. No, that's wrong. Now I'm hearing all those fantastic lines. But I don't have to think. What did you just say? Huh? What'd I say? Please, 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 don't let it be Mondo. A few minutes ago. She said... I saw him stuffing a track jacket into a duffel bag. And then, I assume, he headed off to exercise. She never said anything about the jacket's color. Okay, I got it, guys. So Don't worry. you say Chihiro's blue tracksuit? Maybe Miles Edgeworth did it? You're making me think it is Mondo. What are you... You just... I don't want it to be Mondo. What color was Chihiro's tracksuit? Well, maybe she'll lie now, who knows? As a matter of fact, it was blue? Maybe, maybe Mondo just saw Chihiro going to the gym, or uh, the, the locker room. Please, let it be that. Mondo could not do anything like this, please. The bro code with Taka, he would be so disappointed. The only one I told about any of this was you. Oh. Then... Mondo, how did you know what color Shihiro's tracksuit was? Well, because I, uh, oh, I just... Gaslighting. I'm sure he saw the clothes at some point in the investigation. You know what's funny? Saying that the tracksuit was green reminds me um, of that Persona character whose name I can't remember from, Persona 4. Because they, they have a fairly similar design to Chihiro, and so I was getting them confused in my head sometimes. So that didn't help. That can't be it. The bag and clothes were surely disposed of by the time we began our investigation. Right. Then the only reason he could have known what color the tracksuit was oh. is if he saw Cherry with it before he died. That's the only Cherry. possibility. Cherry? Cherry. Big Mac Cherry? I guess Genocide Jill is just a big food fan. So, how about it? Did you see the tracksuit or didn't you? Wow, that's threatening. I would tell her. Just by chance. I just happened to see it last night. Please, I want to believe you, Mondo. Me. And he was carrying the tracksuit in his hands. Please, I want to believe you, man. That can't no. be it either. According to Celeste's testimony. I mean, she stuffed the jacket into her bag in a hurry. It was almost like she was trying to hide it. And just like that, she was gone. And when Celeste noticed it, Chihiro made a point of making sure the jacket was completely in the bag. He no, just Mondo. You couldn't possibly have seen what color the tracksuit was. It is not you. 
Oh. Here you've dug your own grave. Damn it. Perhaps. But you handed him the shovel, didn't you? That's why you said what you did. I don't want to. I don't want to kill Mondo. And it'll be obvious who he met with. What a bunch of nonsense. Ah, now I understand. It was all one big bluff, wasn't it? I guess, maybe. Your true intention was to draw a slip of the tongue from the culprit. That's why you said you knew who did it. To put them on edge. That's right. However, Mondo was my target all along. I had of course, Kyoko knew all along, right? Shut up! But Shut what? up, man! What made you so suspicious? That's a good question. What? Why are we playing as Kyoko now? No. There was a certain turning point that tipped me off. Maybe you didn't notice it, Mondo, but you tend to refer to men and women differently. That is true. You only call guys dude. For girls, it's chick. Okay. And after he was killed, you happen to refer to him as dude. When did that happen? Once I picked up on that, it occurred to me that Mondo knew something we didn't. Fair enough. If that happened, wow, she's a better detective than we are. Oh, well, g good job, uh, Gamma. I mean, I didn't notice. I haven't heard him say chick before, so anyway. Are you a witch? She's a witch! You're positively frightful! Well, maybe I'm just not aware that I've heard him no, say chick. I'm not the frightful I like Yoko, by the way. Not nearly as frightful as someone capable of murdering a friend. I'm so sad. Mondo, was it really you? Did you really kill Chihiro? I lost two of my favorite characters to this case now. Oh. I, I, Lol? I, 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 uh... Lol? I, okay. I didn't kill anyone! You've been all over me, judging everything I say! Putting words in my mouth. I really want Mondo not to have killed Chihiro. What gives you the right to treat me like a goddamn criminal? I guess I have to watch my own vods now. Yeah, he would never do something like that. This is a false accusation. It seems. Uh, I hope so. Kiyotaka, I want to believe you. My reasoning on that is pretty shaky. Thank you. That was fast. Well, this does present us with a problem. It seems we are all out of leads. I want Yasuhiro Hero to do it because I don't care about him. Or Hifumi. No, I just don't believe that Hifumi could have. Oh right, Hifumi said he had something that he wanted to say to Celeste. I hate you. My little ghost friend is telling me. Ghost, ghost. Is that meant to be a JoJo's reference, like a stand? Oh yeah, that reminds me. Hifumi, weren't you telling me you found some evidence? Damn you, really? Hifumi. What kind of evidence? My arch nemesis. Why did we get a zoom in of his stomach? Actually, you know. I'm thinking about it here calmly. How are you calm? Not be all that relevant. Jeez, does your confidence just get up and walk away? It's fine, man. Just say it's yes to hear. Just give us like anything. Just say anything to get it away from Mondo. Get away from Mondo. I want my characters to live. I want my good, my favorite characters to survive this game and I can live my life without any regret. Um, here it is. Hmm? What do you have there? It happens to be an e-handbook. I found it laying on the ground, so I scooped it up. So, quick question. What are we going to do with Toko after this? Found on the ground, right? Then it must belong to... It's mine? It's Mondo's? It's Chihiro's? I got it! it must be, right? Because that was the only one that was missing? Handbook was missing from the scene of the crime, right? It's because you stole it. For a fact. For a fact indeed. I was totally sure I'd found it. I really hope it. I really hope it's not that bad about killing favorite characters. Oh, they don't like good ca- Oh no! No! Do I have to look at good character designs now and watch them die? But it must hold some clue about the culprit, right? Uh. Well, that's what I was hoping. But it's busted. It won't even turn on. 
Oh no, they killed them all. I imagine the culprit broke it to get rid of any evidence. Uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna go play Murder by the Numbers or something. A nice nonogram murder mystery instead. Where I don't have to care about the characters. I imagine the culprit broke. Uh, uh she already spoke. I didn't think the handbooks were quite so okay. fragile. Yeah, they aren't fragile. You're right. They're not. Yeah. They're totally waterproof and shock resistant. It would take an awful lot to break one. Like a dumbbell. And yet, this one does appear to be broken. As is Leon's, sitting useless in the main hall. So we ever use Leon's. Okay. For all your confidence, that is a remarkably high failure rate. Ooh. <laughs> Do you think there might be some kind of mystery in there somewhere? How much longer is this? Uh, I'll, I'll go on for a bit longer if I have to. I planned for two hours, but we'll go. We'll go further if we need to. Why did the handbook break? There's only one possible explanation: by hitting its weak point, by hacking it, by exploiting a bug. By hitting its weak point, Monokuma said there was a weak point. You already told us before that the handbook has one weak hmm. point, didn't you? I remember that. Yeah. You remember that? <laughs> Genuinely surprised at the player. I let that slip, but I never told anyone what the weak point actually was. Okay, okay, okay. But if the handbook is supposed to never break, thank you for the confidence. Two of them broke in quick succession. Then, then we can only assume that someone's figured out its weakness. I did that cutoff pretty well. You know what the weakness is. Accidentally. Right, Monokuma. But, yeah. So, what is it? Monokuma did it. You're asking me? Hello, rat artist. Welcome. Thank you so much I for showing up. I really appreciate it. If you want this to be a fair trial. Are you a fan of Danganronpa? But if I tell you, and someone else decides to copy it, that would be very not good. Just change the weak point, dude. Forehead. Just tell us already. Why would we want to break our own handbooks? <sighs> oh well, I have a weakness <laughs> for pushy demands. But you're sure you won't follow their- Already taking us on our word on this one, Monokuma. to make a special announcement. The weak point of my cutting-edge e -hand. Yeah, we are nearing the end of it, but uh, this is the second class trial. I mean, the VODs are up if you want to watch my reactions to things, but... Okay. I mean, we'll be streaming more on Monday. If exposed to high temperatures for too long, it will suffer a meltdown and High temperatures? Mm. Who's the ultimate smoker? They would carry a lighter, right? Well, thank you so much for the follow, um, Gamma Tech. Pretty appreciate it. You knew it? It was very quiet though. I almost missed the notification sound. Are there any chat rules? Um, just try not to be mean to anyone, please. That would be probably the best one. Yeah, because I Otherwise, uh, yeah. Laying on the floor of the sauna. The Ooh. temperature in the sauna can reach over 200 degrees. Strange how you don't get burned. Yeah, just don't be toxic. It's a pretty good rule. I think there were chat rules that I put on so like when you click into the chat for the first time it says, but I can't remember them off the top of my head. It's nothing specific. Yeah, you can swear. It's because as your sweat evaporates, it creates a cooling layer of air around your skin. I know the feeling, uh, Gamma. I do that for some Ace Attorney streams as well. If the hot air of the sauna were somehow pushed directly onto your skin, you definitely get fried. I'm I'm not sure how the <clears throat> I'm not sure how the automod will uh, react to swearing, but I'll try to just let messages through if it does catch them unnecessarily. I just have it on for like specific words because I know there are like trigger words for some people, just in case. That like a word came up last stream that I wanted, that I was happy I got to review before I let it through. So, yeah. so when you're in a sauna, make sure to keep nice and still. Oh, thank you. I really appreciate it. I try my best. Interesting. I didn't really get to. Sh Back today. I didn't really. <laughs> <laughs> this is an entertainment game. I didn't really get to do much like myself this stream, but uh, yeah, I guess the game was entertaining. Anyway, if you found I should probably be speaking in the past tense after we finish this. Then the killer must have been purposely trying to raise its temperature in order to break it. Yeah. Meaning the culprit somehow knew its weakness. Interesting. But how'd they find out? Monokuma said he didn't tell anyone, right? 
Leon's. Indeed. Quite the mystery. Oh, nice. Yep. What if they found out by accident? Ace Attorney is a great series, by the way. What do you mean by accident? One of my favorite game series. What if the killer took their own handbook into the sauna, not knowing its weakness, and it broke? If not my favorite. I don't know, I've played all the mainline games and one of the spin-offs. Yeah, well, I mean, stupid idiot has been added to the permitted terms for some reason. For some reason, I had to add that. But anyway, I'll just let them through if course, I think they're fine. And it wouldn't be hard to figure out why. There are some words that I'm like, I'll, I'll, if you say them, I'll be like, wow, that doesn't seem justified. Um, but they're probably not going to come up. Yeah, he does. Automod is sad. Automod needs some friends. And once they had Chihiro's handbook, they knew they had an easy way to dispose of it. I want to review that because it's reading chat so much. Um, what if the killer took their own handbook into the sauna, not knowing its weakness and it broke? They realized it was broken, and of course it wouldn't be hard to figure out why. Damn it, Mondo goes into the sauna a lot. I won't say it's not possible, but who would have done something like that? I don't know of anyone who took their handbook into the sauna. Wait. Oh no. Mondo did. Because he wore his clothes. I might know someone who did. Oh, which one? Or is it literally Danganronpa, uh, Gamma? Beverly Hills <laughs> Of all the obscure picks. Oh, Kingdom Hearts. Interesting. Whoa! Seriously? Uh, no, is it really Mondo? I'm sad. I think the one who may have taken their handbook into the sauna was... <laughs> oh no, Kiyotaka also realized! Ah! He might have brought it into the sauna. It had to be the one who wore all their clothes into the sauna. It was... Damn it, Mondo! Why? Here's my answer. Mondo, your handbook got broken in the sauna, didn't it? I'll talk about Kingdom Hearts in a second. I guess, maybe. We'll see. What? Why? Why do you keep accusing him? I'm sorry! I don't want to! Contest in the sauna not too long ago. During their boy's life. Their BL. And for the contest, Mondo just so happened to keep his school uniform on. He was so brave. But little did he realize, he'd also left his handbook in one of his uniform pockets. He was so strong. Mondo. And when it was all over, Mondo discovered that taking your handbook into the sauna could easily destroy it. No. No. Wait. Hold on. You've got it all wrong. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. No, Mondo. I really, I really want to believe that he destroyed Chihiro's um, thing now because, like, he didn't want Chihiro's secret getting out. Please, please, I want him to have good intentions. Show me the proof. What? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. What if Chihiro accidentally hurt their head because of uh, th not used to exercising, right? Please, please. I, want, I don't want Mondo to die. I mean, I don't want to believe it either, but I found something that proves it beyond a shadow of a doubt. What was that? I don't know what beyond a shadow of a doubt would be. Have we really ruled out Leon yet? I don't think so, but I can't. I can't seem to shoot him. Look at E-Handbook, Chihiro's handbook. Let's test Makoto's assertion. Wait, how do I? If what he says is correct, then Mondo, how do, how you do I... broke your own handbook. Wait, wait, wait. I need, I need to remember some controls. How do I switch bullets again? Um, I think I have to, do I have to hold Y? In other words, nope. if Mondo's handbook That's is right. actually broken, nope. then that... I need, I, need, I need to remember controls for a second. Um. Oh, it's L L B. There we go. Well, my handbook. goddamn handbook works just fine. I'll get some time back for that. See, look, Makoto was wrong after all. Mondo wouldn't hurt a fly. Mm, broken knee handbook though. Yeah. I really hope that's the real one. That Chihiro just died by accident and Mondo wanted to cover it up and hide Chihiro's secret. Please. I'm sure Mondo's handbook broke during their sword showdown. 
I can just prove that. And that will show that the handbook Mondo has must actually be. Let's test Makoto's assertion. Okay. If what he says is correct, then Mondo, you broke your own handbook. In other words, if Mondo's handbook is actually broken, then that proves that what Makoto said is right. Well, my goddamn handbook works just fine! Doesn't it? Mm. See? Look! Makoto was wrong after all! Mondo wouldn't hurt a fly! Mm. Why doesn't his work? Yeah. Poor Kiyotaka. I'm trying to figure out what piece of evidence goes with what, and I guess that's the whole game, so I need to be correct about it. Um, and that will show that the handbook Mondo has must actually be... What if it's Chihiro's? If what he says is correct, then Mondo, you broke your own handbook. In other words, if Mondo's handbook is actually broken... I guess I'm just gonna, uh, like, say, is it Chihiro's handbook? I'm going to just call him out and say, show me. Oh, damn. Uh, great. I guess we're gonna go through that again. Mondo wouldn't hurt a fly! Let's just try again. I'll try to use the slowing down time this time. If what he said, you broke your own handbook. In other words, if not, then that proves that what not. Well, my goddamn handbook works just fine! Oh. Okay, it's wrong. What the hell are you talking about? Just shut up. Okay. Card reader. What's the card reader say? No, the card reader doesn't care. What elements I've learned in this trial? Okay, fire, earth, earth, wind, and fire. Ah, oh, now I'm getting distracted. Um. Let's test Makoto's assertion. No, nah, I don't actually need to pause, do I? I don't know. If what he says is correct, then Mondo, you broke your own handbook. I'll get an extra second because I need it. In other words, if Mondo's handbook is actually broken, yeah. then that proves that what Makoto said is right. The card reader. Well, my goddamn handbook works just fine! Does it? Mm. See? Look! Okay, well, I think that's the Makoto wrong one. Wrong after all! Mondo wouldn't hurt a fly! Makoto was wrong. Makoto was wrong. Sucker punches Makoto in the prologue, exactly. Um. Oh, wait, okay, okay. So, someone needed Leon's. So, that's how Leon's must have broken. So, that's the broken one. I've seen Makoto, yeah. Let's test Makoto's assertion. If so is the broken e handbook okay, so that's Mondo, Leon's. You broke your own handbook. Right. That is Leon's. If Mondo's handbook is actually broken, then that proves that what Makoto said is right. What if well, I shoot my goddamn handbook works just fine? Hmm, should I just shoot that one with broken e handbook? Look! Makoto was wrong after all! Mondo wouldn't hurt a fly! I don't think that weak point's uh, worth pursuing. There weren't even- there wasn't even white noise going over it. So I'm going to try just shooting broken handbook at- you broke your own handbook. In other words, if Mondo's handbook and that proves- I'm going to try this. Well, my goddamn handbook works just fine! Oh, no, I missed. See? Awesome. Mondo wouldn't hurt a fly! Acorn hair. I thought it was corn hair. Acorns Let's look quite different. Assertion. If what he says, you broke your okay, own. this time I'll get it, guys, I promise. If month and that proves. Well, my goddamn handbook works just fine! There we go. I got it! Yay! I'm a gamer! Mondo. My big weakness, shooters. Is it really yours? <laughs> Not Eggy. Yeah. Oh, Makoto. Does Makoto have acorn hair? Huh. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? The broken handbook that was in the main hall. Hmm, that was Leon's. Isn't that one actually yours? Ah. What the heck are you talking about? What I mean is, I think Mondo swapped his oh. handbook with the one that 
actually works. Okay, I had it a little bit backwards, but I think he took Leon's we got there. And replaced it with his own. After all, Monokuma said himself that Leon's handbook never should have. Ah. That's right. The punishment it suffered wasn't nearly enough to destroy it. So then, the broken handbook in the. Oh, thank you so much for the follow, Rad Artist. Really, Mom. Really appreciate it. Glad you're enjoying the stream. Um, yeah. Which would mean that the handbook Mondo has right now is actually Leon's. Makes sense, yeah. makes sense. But doesn't that violate the school regulation that says loaning out your handbook is prohibited? No, we've gone over this. Here's how I look at it. There is a rule about loaning your handbook to another student. Oh. But if they're dead, they're not a student. Oof. It's kind of a great area, I admit. But no worries. If anything, it just makes things more interesting. Isn't that all he cares about, though? I decree that exchanging handbooks with a corpse is not a violation of the rules. Great. Well, uh, well, that's going to lead to some I'm stuff later on, I'm guessing. You're welcome to say so. Oh, damn. Please, Mondo. I'm happy to admit I made a mistake, but... Same. Son of a bitch. Damn it. What's wrong, bro? C come on! Tell him he's wrong! You are wrong! You have to be wrong! Everything you just said is wrong! You made it all up! I feel so bad for Kiyotaka okay. in this situation. Why don't we look back on this case one more time, from the beginning. That way, everything will become clear, and we'll all see if I was right or wrong. Okay. What is his motive, though? Oh, it's this. Okay. Um, I, and I have 20 minutes, so that's what I'm going to do. No, I'm just kidding. I'll try to solve this quickly. So, stuffing it in, Celeste notices she's just standing on some, um, leaning on some boxes, I guess. Chihiro, um, it's like, ha 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 And then Celeste, um, uses her Sharon gun. And I guess points at the bag. Yeah, that's her finger. That weird robotic thing. Her finger. That's Celeste's finger. Okay. Then Shihiro stuffs everything into the bag. Says goodbye. Um, Act two. Uh, locker rooms. Right. Uh, yeah. Uses it to sign in. Makes sense. Doesn't seem important. There's always one red herring, right? Goes into the boys one. That's what I reckon. Hey, what's up? Um, uh, it's so tough. Dressing like a girl, I guess. I don't know. Um, huh? Now what's happening? A little hard to say. Did anything happen? Is that the pool? I don't know. Yeah, the gray man is on a flipping kill streak. Huh. Might be a little bit wrong about some of the choices I've already made. Okay, wait. Lift it up, I guess? I don't know. I'm not exactly sure. Sorry guys, I have to do actual thinking here, I guess. He really is a swine, yeah. Unless it's this one. Could it be? I'm not exactly sure. We'll see. Okay, right. Ah! Blood. And then there's blood on the um, poster. I guess. Dropped it. Looks crazy. Jihiro's dead. Act three. Wrapping everything up. Um, tearing down the poster. Uh, picked up the hero. Oh wait, did it say out earlier? No, it said in. Okay, cool, cool, cool. up then what uh, girls used 
someone's tablet to get in. Then... Stuck up the poster, I guess. Down to hero. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool, everything's been switched. Makes sense, Bjorka discovers it. He's a creep. Walks in. Why? Oh, because uh, everything was unlocked at this point, right? So he doesn't have to worry about getting in. Sees... Uh, oh wait, he gets the extension cord. Wait, so was he planning on framing this all on Genocide Jack regardless of what actually happened? I guess. Okay, there's that, that, that. Very gross. Hate to see it. Very sad. Makes me very sad. Bloodlust is there. Act 5! Um... The sauna, right? Is this opening the sauna door? Might be. Some of these details, man. Some of them I don't understand why I have to even bother putting them in. Let's try it. Exactly what happened. But I can use this for my own agenda to look cool. Okay, I hope I got this right. We'll see, maybe I got something wrong. Last night, Celeste saw Chihiro in the warehouse, correct? I think my logic was decent. At the time, she was apparently stuffing something into- Oh, we still have to do the- Oh, we still have to do the rhythm game after this. Oh, well. Okay, cool. That one's right. That something was a blue tracksuit. You can confirm this, right, Celeste? Okay. With bag in hand, Chihiro headed out, even though it was officially nighttime. Oh, okay. Oof. She made her way to the locker room, specifically the boys' locker room. Oh, wait, so now Makoto's using female pronouns. But how could the victim, who was apparently a girl, access the boys' locker room? By actually tapping in. Yeah. Okay, cool, got that one right. Simple, because she was really a key. Okay. Which is why he was able to use his own handbook to gain entrance to the boys' locker room. Right. Once inside, he met with someone there. And the person he met was the one who killed him. Is this right? I'm not sure. Okay. It's that looked more like lifting than actually, like, picking it up to kill someone. Alright. But why? Give me the reason. Spilled blood on the poster. Cool, cool, cool. And that's where the blood stains on the poster and carpeting in the sense so far. Bum 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 bum. Shouldn't be thinking about that after you've killed a murder, killed someone, <laughs> killed a murder. In the heat of the I'm moment. great at talking. The body was arranged, but the murder itself felt unplanned. Flip. it down, right? Which is why the killer hurried to try and hide the act. First, pulling up the bloodstained carpet. Then, removing the bloody poster. Okay, that one was also right. Finally carrying the corpse into the girl's locker room. Using one of the other, um, e handbooks. The girl's handbook was necessary to get into That's the not too bad because there's Saikas and Junkos. This alone doesn't prove that the killer was necessarily a girl. Ba -bum. Ba -bum. Ba -bum. Ba -bum. After all, Sayaka and Junko's handbooks had been placed in the main hall. Doesn't really matter whose was taken. Using one of those, a boy could get into the girl's locker room without much problem. Yeah, yeah. And that's exactly <laughs> how the killer <laughs> did it. With okay. The carpet and the poster they brought with them, they got to work. Seems like I was on the money. They changed the layout of the boys' and girls' locker room in what you might call a crime scene switch. If you had to, I guess. And then Byakuya was just weird and ruined the whole thing. But no, Byakuya discovered the body and decided to intervene. Oh, in the oh what's up, Grim? Hey. Making things even more complicated. We're just absolutely spoiling the entirety of the second chapter by summarizing so, the events. After stumbling on the crime scene, he went and grabbed the extension cord from the library, and then he got to work. 
It's such a weird thing to do. What a narcissist. Wanted to make things just interesting, I guess. Uh. Then, using the I guess maybe he just wanted to get Toko off his back. Left a grisly message there. He's a catch up, I guess, yeah, if you don't care about the story. Or spoilers, I guess. You might care about the story, but you just want it in that, Jack was responsible for the slot. that uh, truncated form, you know. Truncated? I don't know, just shortened. Summarized. Oh, whoopsie. Okay. I'm glad that I only made a mistake there, of all places. Oh, is this the sauna? Is that what it is? Might be. Let me see what else there is. Uh, that's not important. No, no, no. Okay, cool. I think it can only be this one. Let's try it. The killer is you. Me. And around yeah, the. He just likes playing with corpses. Was putting together this facade. No one is going to trust Byakuya after this. Nor Toko, actually. The killer, having already disposed of Chihiro's bag and other belongings. Arrived at the sauna. Okay, I didn't actually recognize that as the sauna, so. There, they bad. plan to destroy the last piece of evidence. Chihiro's handbook. Makes sense. And just as the killer expected, Oh, cool. The steamy sauna was enough to ruin the electronic gadget. I have not really played Resident Evil. Not much taken either. Somehow, the killer knew that the handbook couldn't stand up to the heat of the sauna. Which is why I was wondering. The reason they knew that is because the sauna had already wrecked their own handbook. <laughs> and that's how it all played out. Some great onomatopoeias here. Oh boy. I don't like that render of Mondo. This looks very poorly drawn, actually. <laughs> this must have been some last minute art. I mean, there were a few slip-ups that would have uh, led Toko to just being killed, I guess. Well, and then all of us dying. No, this can't be right. Where's your evidence? Yeah, where's your evidence? Screw evidence. Let's play a rhythm game. How about that? You need proof. Without any proof, you can't pin any of this on him. Wait, are we gonna go to battle with uh, Taka instead of Mondo? Just because Taka's getting so upset? Evidence that Mondo is the killer. That already revealed itself earlier in the trial. Okay. I mean, it didn't look that great to me, but hey, if people like it. The proportions just looked a little bit weird, and then it looked really kind of ill. It looks rougher than I would have liked, but oh well. Once I do that, everything will become clear. A new element has been added to the bulletin battles. Great time to introduce this, yeah? Let's talk a little bit about Fever Time and Nega Time. Oh boy. I do not play Osu. During a bullet time battle, if you press the RP button, Fever Time will activate and the tempo will be forced to its max. Yeah, no, I'm not a huge... Well, I mean, I've played some rhythm games, but, um... Oh boy, I'm bad on a controller. At this point, even if you push the buttons at random, you won't miss. Wait, did I read that right? At this point, if you push the buttons at random, you won't miss. So you can push A, Y, A, Y, however you want to destroy the opponent's verbal assault. Oh, that seems like my mode. This only lasts until your focus gauge runs out, so make the best possible use of your time. Of course, it wouldn't be fair if only you got access to special time, right? Oh no. Oh no. I think I was fine, right? I was fine. Negative time. I didn't actually read that right. So we've also prepared something called negative time that your opponent can use. If the opponent activates negative time during the bullet time battle, your tempo marker will disappear, making it quite a bit... Oh no! If you were to activate fever time at this point... No, never mind. I'm sure nothing would happen. I don't know what I was worried about. I'm not going to do that. Unsurprisingly, if your action difficulty is set to gentle, the opponent won't use negative time. Uh, negative time. Yeah, <laughs> I'll know that they're actually watching me if I get banned for that. Well then, good luck and have fun. I hate this part. It was so poorly explained last time that I almost died. We are doing it with Kiritaka. Okay, that's Show nice. Me some evidence. You're wrong. I won't listen. 
I refute you! False! There we go. Show me some evidence. I'm just gonna shoot that one. I won't listen! False! There we go. Oh boy, now the tempo's up. I refuse to vote! Oh no! Show me some evidence! You're wrong! Okay. I won't listen! I refute you! False! Oh no. Show me some evidence. Damn it! I won't listen! False! Ah! You're corrupt! There we go, I handled it. Show me some evidence! This should prove it! Oh. oh boy. Okay, that was a bit stressful. When I couldn't see anything, that was really stressful. Sorry that I wasn't looking at chat for that. My thinking so far is right. Rondo must have replaced his broken handbook with Leon's. In which case, we can just check- I was actually doing pretty well for a second there, and then I completely lost it. If I may say so myself, I will say that I completely lost it. Once we do that, we'll- We don't gotta do that. Yeah, kinda have to, don't you? We don't gotta do that. Hold on. In which case, we can just check each of our handbooks right now. Once we do that, okay. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. I did it. I killed him. Poor Mondo. Was this a, like one of your rules? Was it like a promise that you made? I want a good reason. Hey, I got an A. Yeah. I'll get used to using them, I guess. I'll remember next time. I think now we can basically get all the presents, right? We use all our medals. What are you saying? I'm so sad for these two. I got no choice, man. After hearing all that, I gotta just give up. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Monokuma. I wish we could have Get just killed someone else. Ask for the goddamn verdict. Damn it! Why is he so cool? Wait! Hold on! Oh. No waiting. No holding on. Oof. No. Well, I mean, like, um, like Time because you can. Waiting for. Lower the odds of getting duplicates. Because we have a lot of coins, right? We have a lot of coins. I thought we could like lower the duplicate chances. As the blackened this time around. Yeah, well, you play one rhythm game as part of the interrogation. Who will you elect as the blackened this time will around? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? I really want to kill someone else besides Mondo, What's but man, What's it gonna be? we gotta we gotta kill Mondo. Not that many. Okay. Oh, I guess we don't actually have to worry about it because it'll select Mondo for us because we've done that, like, beyond reasonable doubt. In some ways, I would consider this the bad ending. What? Oh, I have to speak now. Uh-oh! This time it looks like you got it right again! Yes, it is so! The black in that killed Chihiro Fujisaki was... Mondo Awada! Unbelievable. In case you're wondering, the vote was not unanimous. Kiyotaka chose the wrong answer. You're treading very close to the danger zone, Mr. Ishimaru. You need to be more careful. Uh, I refuse to believe it. There's no way, no way he would kill someone. Sorry. Sorry. What, what is this? Wh why are you apologizing? Why? 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 Why did you do it? Now then. Well, it looks like Mondo's taken a vow of silence, so allow me to explain on his behalf. Actually, the story of the murder this time is the sad story of two men. Huh. Oh, but for anyone who doesn't really want to hear it, you can hit the B button to fast forward the text. Oh boy. I want to hear it. Anyway, there was once a young boy, and his name was Chihiro Fujisaki. I want to hear it, I don't care how long it is. He had an extreme inferiority complex regarding his own lack of strength. You're so weak even though you're a boy. He'd heard things like that as long as he could remember, and he couldn't overcome his weakness. <laughs> I can't believe it's not butter. On the contrary, he tried to hide and buried himself further and further into that weakness. 
take on that fragile form of a petite young girl. He had chosen that as his way out. Um. Now, nobody will be able to say anything about even though you're a boy. But no matter, but no matter how tightly he wrapped himself up in that shell, the inferiority complex had already taken deep roots inside of him and was not so easily weeded out. I, I might not understand. Sorry. As it turned out, the shell was completely empty. The complex didn't disappear. Instead, it only grew stronger and stronger. What brand of butter is it? <laughs> I'm weak. Weak, 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 weak. Shame. <laughs> Once the killing game had begun here at the school, he had no choice but to accept this fact. After all, this world is survival of the fittest. If you're not strong, you don't survive. I, I feel so bad for Chihiro. And then the lonely and hateful Monokuma announced the revealing of the embarrassing secrets. Which of course included Chihiro's embarrassing secret, which I was more than willing to divulge. Even though he dresses like a girl, Chihiro is actually a boy. Hey, um... That was something Chihiro couldn't let anyone find out, no matter the cost. If that was revealed, it would be the end. The hardened shell would crack, the armor would fall away. Without a doubt, those around him would torture him more than ever before. Everyone figured being thrust into such a dilemma must have sent him spiraling into despair. What? And yet... Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm s sorry. I don't really want to talk about it right now. But, but... But I also don't want to leave things the way they are. So maybe I can talk about it later. After I try my best to become strong, then I can tell everyone. Annoyingly, he used the threat of discovery to motivate himself to become stronger! That's right. Now's my chance. I want to change. I'm going to get stronger and accept who I am. Strong enough so that when someone says, even though you're a boy, I'll be okay. I'll get better. That thought at the end of his, at the front of the, oh wait, it's Monokuma. With that thought at the front of his mind, he resolved to take immediate action. And so, that day, he made the commitment to begin exercising! He was prepared to retrain his mind and body. But sadly, that would be the first and only chance he would get at it. Get at hey, it. Um... Poor reading there on my part. When he decided to start exercising, he thought it would be a good it would be good to ask some uh wow. My whole reading ability just fell apart. To ask for someone's help. But he wanted to tell that person his secret first and then ask them to help him from there. And the person he went to... Yeah, that's right. It was me. <laughs> yep, it sure was! <laughs> the biker gang fella had been painfully clear about how important his manly promises were, so Chihiro probably figured that even if he confided in Mondo, his honor would make him keep the secret. Uh -huh. Plus, Mr. Macho Mondo was the very symbol of a strong man that Chihiro had always aspired to. Yeah, he pretended to be a girl, but only because he felt like he was forced in order to avoid the criticisms. Um... Yeah, okay, so it wasn't a gender thing, it was a weakness thing. And, I mean, that uh, comes back to a whole perception as well as a weak, but, uh, yeah. Oh, now we've added feminism into the whole thing, so it got offended in this case. Um... Yeah, that's tough, eh? Hmm. Hmm. I'm just going to say Chihiro. Maybe talking to Mondo about it will help give me some courage. So he went and asked... No, that, that's that's Monokuma speaking, not Chihiro. I think the game made a little oopsie there. Whoopsie. So he went and asked Mondo to help him become strong. 
Yeah. Yeah, that is fair. But I mean, he didn't seem to care either way. Or, yeah. Shahira didn't seem to care either way. That was his aspiration. And he thought that only with Mondo's support would he ever be able to come close to that. Correct. So then, that must be why Mondo did what he did. To keep the promise he'd made to Chihiro. Huh? Did what he did? You mean, that's why Mondo carried Chihiro from the boys' locker room into the girls' locker room? Oh my god, it is sad. Indeed. Yes, that's exactly what I mean. Um... Wasn't that to cover up what he'd done? Certainly. That could have been part of it, but I don't think it was the main reason. The real purpose was to keep the promise between men he'd made to Chihiro. But... But... How, how does moving the body keep a secret? Because... Because if everyone knew he'd been killed in the boys' locker room, everyone would have been arguing about how she got into the boys' locker room, right? Once that started up, at least a few of us would have immediately begun to suspect his identity. So, we tried to protect Tahiro's secret by putting him in the girls' locker room and stealing his handbook, see? Then, Mondo did all that to keep the promise he made to Chihiro? Who he'd also killed? Why would he do that? The more I hear you talk, the more I don't understand. I mean, you guys trusted each other, right? So why? Why did you... Because, no matter what, I didn't want anyone to know. I knew it. So that's what triggered it, after all. Nope, still don't get it. I looked at it for a good few seconds there. Like, I'm, I'm familiar with the fact that it's like, you know, pretending to be something else, but is that it? I don't ever think it. Okay. It's just, I guess it's not butter. I guess it's not a girl. I don't know. Is that, uh, moving on. The possibility of having your embarrassing memories and secret, secrets exposed. What, what is this? Th that's impossible. Nothing could have been that bad. In like 15 minutes? Okay. When stream's over, I guess. Okay. Something you didn't want anyone to know, even if it meant killing someone. It's impossible! Don't make me repeat myself. How many times must I repeat myself? To judge others by your own standard is the height of folly. Even if you can't comprehend it, he obviously can. That's all there is to it. <laughs> well, while we're on the subject, why don't I tell you? That embarrassing memory, that secret he didn't want anyone to know. You know what Mondo did? He killed his own brother. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Mondo, the ultimate biker gang leader, makes all the hoodlums and riffraff across the country tremble. But the only reason he had the chance to join a gang in the first place was because of a certain someone. <laughs> Crazy diamond. Mondo's older brother's name was Daya Owada. Daya Mondo. Good lord, what a time to spot the JoJo's reference. Mondo had nothing but respect for him. It was because of Daya that Mondo ever got on a motorcycle. Mondo's brother was his only family growing up. He was the only one Mondo could trust or respect. Yep, a Diamondo. He wanted to measure up to his big brother, so he Im imitated him in everything he did. Mondo was the epitome of the starry-eyed kid brother. Meanwhile, the charismatic older brother had put together a local motorcycle gang. And before anyone knew it, it had grown into the biggest biker gang in the country. Daya, the older brother, number one in the gang, and his number two, his younger brother, Mondo! In the beginning, everything was peaches and gravy. But when Mondo started to think about how he would have to take over the gang from his brother someday, his brother's greatness, his reputation began to gnaw on Mondo's very soul! The kid's gonna take over for Daya, huh? Daya created this gang with his bare hands, Mondo's just along for the ride. Can someone like that really be our leader? All that'll do is make the gang look bad. 
almost every day, Mondo heard the gossip and the whispers of the other members of the gang. Which is why... I... I just... I gotta get stronger. Stronger than Daya. Once. Just one time. No matter what. I gotta win. Don't fuck with me. I don't care what it takes. I gotta come out on top. And on the night of his amazing brother's retirement ceremony, Mondo challenged him to a street race. But during the race, tragedy struck! The kid brother pushed ahead with reckless abandon, eager for victory, and dashed into oncoming traffic. But suddenly... In his kid brother's arms, the oldest brother delivered his final words. The older brother. My, my bad, kid. I screwed up. Sorry. Of course he knew it was his brother's fault, but Daya never blamed him for what happened. Hey, kid. The rest is up to you. No matter what, you gotta keep the gang together. Because it's the team. You and me put it together. It's a... Promise between men. <laughs> he decided to hide the truth of what happened from everyone else in the gang. In order to keep the gang together and keep the promise to his brother, he could never admit to anyone that it was his own weakness that had caused the accident. And as a result, the team was made even stronger under the banner of the kid who'd bested his big brother. Daya was going to lose to his kid brother, so he got stupid and got himself killed. That became the explanation for what happened. Mondo's lie became the truth. He wanted to lead the team so bad he was willing to tell all kinds of lies about his brother. I... I just... Thank you. I'm... Strong. Yeah. Strong. 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 Strong! And yet... As soon as our killing game began, he realized, no matter how tough he pretended to be, he was just another weakling that could die in an instant. <laughs> and then the lovely, the hateful Monokuma announced the revealing of the embarrassing secrets. At that point, it was clear I would have no problem shedding light on his secret. Mondo killed his own older brother. No, no matter what, I couldn't let the other gang members find out. If that happened, everything would have been ruined. Everything me and my brother had worked to create would have been destroyed. His death, or the guilt I'd been carrying around, it all would have been for nothing. So that's why... I... That's why I... I... Mondo. After I saw what Monokuma had on me, my head filled up with a kind of fuzzy uneasiness, and just started swirling around. I'd never felt anything like it before. I... I just... I didn't know what to do about it. I wasn't sure what to think or say. But after a while, that fuzzy uneasiness turned something into a rock-hard lump of anxiety way down to my stomach. It was right around then that Chihiro asked me to start working out with him. And right there, I... He told me a secret. Uh, Seriously? Jesus! Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry I lied to you. Yeah. But why? Why now? Why are you telling me this all of a sudden? Huh? Huh? Because, I mean, you've kept that secret all this time, right? If anyone found out, you would. But... Y you're right, but... I want to change. I wrap myself in lies. I'm weak. I want to destroy that version of me forever. His words were like a knife in my gut. Felt like he was exposing the lie I'd been living myself. I have to change. I don't want to be weak anymore. You're so strong. Can't hurt you, right? Whatever secret Monokuma might tell us. You piece of... So what? 
You're saying I should just say it? What? You're saying if I really am, I should just be able to tell everyone my secret? Huh? huh? I was jealous. I was jealous of Chihiro's strength. He had the strength to face his own weakness, to try and overcome it. It was the kind of strength I have never had. So I was jealous of him. That jealousy broke me. What? what? Are you making fun of me? I'm strong? Are you... Oh, my neck, sorry. <laughs> Are you messing with me right now? In this case, I would have actually used it, I guess, but uh, still holding out. One day you guys will hear me swear properly, I guess. I, I'm not making fun of you. you. You really are strong, Mondo. I felt like I could hear something starting to creak. Something inside my head. <laughs> what did he want me to do? What was I supposed to do? Was I supposed to just sit back? Let my secret get revealed and ruin everything? What's wrong? Why did you have to tell me all that? Are you trying to rub my failure in my face? I, butter. I just wanted One day I'll get the butter jokes as well. I'll trade. Swearing for butter. No, I just really admire you. I admire your strength. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I am strong. Strong. I'm strong. Strong, 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 strong. Stronger than you. You son of a bitch. Stronger than Dyer. I don't remember anything after that. When I woke up again, he was laying at my feet, covered in blood. Um, no, I don't. Sorry. South Africa, by the way. No. I had the dumbbell in my hand, and I was just staring at him, down on the ground. <laughs> hey! I... killed him. Oh, okay. I think it's also in the US, but I'm not exactly sure. I killed Chihiro. Even after all this time, I'm still just as weak as I've always been. This is just called, I can't believe it's not butter. I did something I can never take back. Yeah. I mean, we have margarine here. I just think we have a different brand of it. Mondo. He was normally so aggressive, so angry. He hid that weak side away from everyone. That was his secret. I guess. I still don't know how to get the butter thing, though. Weakness like that lived in a heart like his. It turned him cold-blooded. God damn it! Thanks, Monokuma. Look at him! You see? You're all just like him! For a secret for a secret from the past, for a memory, for that he killed another living human in cold blood. Hmm. He couldn't cut free of his regrets from the outside world. He doesn't know what true strength is. Do you see hope anywhere in there? Cause I sure don't. Uh, okay. You bastard! Just shut up! You son of a bitch! Go ahead, say that again, I dare you! There, I traded. Yeah. I thought the, I thought the scene required it. So I went with it. Okay, I'll say it as many times as I want. It's what I want to say, but... <laughs> unfortunately, I can't do that right now, because the time for punishing is fast approaching! P punishing It can't be. You mean... Execution? Well now, well now, well now, well now! That's what I promised you, right? The black and that disturbs the peace will be punished. Ridiculous. For the record, I don't swear that often, so yeah. That was a big deal for me. H hold on. Now then, I prepared a very special punishment. I needed the catharsis before this happens. For Mondo Awada, the ultimate biker gang leader. Yeah. Skipping everything we've got. No, no, wait, wait. I said wait! Sorry, man. I couldn't keep the promise we made from one man to another. Mondo has been found guilty. Time for the punishment. Okay, guys, warning if this is bad. To anyone who doesn't already know. 
punishments are pretty bad. We just see someone die. Oh boy. Wonder is kind of taking it like a champ though. Stark outside, that's how the weather's going. The cage of death. Is there going to be a lot of butter? Is that what I'm led to believe? Supposed to be led to believe, I guess. Okay. Mondo does not seem that phased at the moment. He's just like, I wish I could steer this thing. Oh god. Really okay. Oh boy. Is he being electrocuted? Is he microwaved? Oh god. What the hell? I'm not reading that. <gasps> it can't be my brother! Another murder and another execution. I want to feel again. Everyone's lives are taken so lightly here. I feel like I might be going mad. Maybe I'll just let it happen. That's how I feel. As Taka's sad screams invaded our skulls, we were each forced to realize once again that he, of course, he had to... <laughs> what a disappointment. This is the end of the game. But, Piakia... What is this? You're completely insane, you know that? A game? One of our friends is dead! Do you realize that? Naturally. Of course I do, because this game is life or death. Hey. I don't have anything to say to you. I don't have a response except that. However. I just don't understand why. Why did you go out of your way to disguise Mondo's crime? What? Why? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? Because it made things more interesting. I hate Biakia. His voice was so calm, emotionless, like the voice of death. It chilled me to the bone. Last night, when the murder took place, I was in the library as usual. Honestly. So you ignored the nighttime rule too. <laughs> well, so did you, Celeste, because you were in the you were in the warehouse. That rule never mattered to me. I don't recall agreeing to it. There is nothing to well, be done. I don't particularly care. Please continue. <laughs> the night grew late, and I decided to return to my room. Just when I stumbled upon it, <laughs> I spotted Mondo coming out of the girls' locker room. After he'd gone, I looked inside and saw the corpse. What? What? You mean you actually witnessed the murder? <laughs> he was such a fool. He didn't have the slightest idea that I'd seen him. Well... So you're saying you knew who the culprit was from the beginning? That's right. Indeed. But if that had been the end of it, how boring would that have been? I mean, what a waste of time to have the answer right revealed right at the beginning. <laughs> Which is why I decided to... Lend a little helping hand. So he's technically an accomplice. I thought it would liven things up. You did, you did all that to liven things up? I see. So after hearing about Genocide Jack from Turco, I decided to use that to create the fake murder scene. But, but damn man, if we hadn't figured out who'd really done it, you would have been dead too, right? <laughs> Obviously, I would have revealed the truth before it reached that point. Easy, you, we would have cried wolf. We wouldn't have believed a word that he said at that point. We would have all died. Of course. Yakir turned and looked me in the eye. I could feel his sharp eyes piercing into me. Thanks to a certain remarkable someone, it never did. Now I was able to perform an interesting experiment. 
once I do decide to become blackened. I now know who I'll have to watch out for. <laughs> what? Correct. So that was your reason. <laughs> Are you satisfied? Indeed. You'll never be satisfied. Yes, we're done listening to your story. Moving on. Hey. There's something I'd like to ask you, Monokuma. What's this? Oh, I'm up next. You. Once I do decide to become black, it's one of my favorite moments. Fair enough. I like to perform these elaborate executions each time, correct? My question is, why? <laughs> do you like them? But you know, this punishment, this despair, it's not just for you. All this punishment, all this despair is my gift to mankind itself! Don't you notice Hamilton? Yeah. What? Of course I do. You're over-exaggerating. <laughs> I am not over-exaggerating! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> These punishments are meant to transform all hope to despair. What do you mean? 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 Mean, 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 mean. Good grief! I don't understand why you have to pick apart every little stupid thing. Whatever. It doesn't matter. In the end, I'm going to stand alone as the victor, and then everything will be revealed to me. He's just going to be a suspect in every single investigation going forward. Great! Ah, the noble son of a noble family. Surely you understand me. I think this is the start of a terrifying friendship. That's enough. Shut up. I would never stoop to the level of a childish criminal like you. Let me just say this. Did he just emotionally harm the headmaster? Is he dead now? After I achieve complete victory, you're up next. I'm going to find you and kill you. Understand? In the name of my family. In the name of the Tagami family, for which victory is a foregone conclusion. You're getting a- Ooh, so cool. It's like you're the main character of a video game or something. No trash mob for you. I swear, whatever it takes, I will kill you. <laughs> temper, temper. Sounds like someone needs a nap. <laughs> yeah, that. <laughs> oh, this is a good track as well. It reminds me of Ace Attorney. With a bit more synth. Monokuma's laughter pealed across the courtroom, and the curtain closed on the case of Chihiro and Mondo. But I knew that wasn't the end. Killing game would still continue. I lost two of my favorite characters to this case. Because the mastermind wouldn't let it end. Those of us who were still alive, our worst fear and despair kept on multiplying. It was the kind of despair that felt like a blind puppy in hell had more of a future than us. All of our courage, our effort, our friendship felt like it amounted to nothing at all. It was the worst kind of despair. Ooh. Well, any- Hey, it's the guy who's been committing all the murders, this gray man. This is a pretty good spot. Yeah, a re- This is a long stream, guys. This is much longer than anything I'm used to doing. But I didn't have to talk that much, so Isn't it's fine. It's amazing how that girl went and killed someone before things even had a chance to get boring. Oh, Saika, right. Once yeah. things really get moving, it'll be like a roller coaster. There won't be any stopping it. How is he doing a cat's cradle with no fingers? Fear That's and what that is, right? Charge forward at a speed nothing can hope to match. But I must admit, I'm disappointed. I went to all the pain and effort of making you part of the group. Oh, the 16th character. Heart. You do remember you were supposed to make the first move, right? Oh, no, wait. Hold on. This isn't the 16th well, member. no biggie. Nothing we can do about it now. So just do your best to make things more exciting from now on, okay? Is it Byakuya? After all, that's what everyone wants to see. Because, I mean, that's what Byakuya's been doing. Hmm? There's one thing I'd like to ask. I, I don't know. I have to go for a very neutral voice here. As Ask long you. as you don't want to know my measurements, fire away! What a weird thing. Who is it? 16th. Okay, so it isn't. So it, this isn't. So this is not, in fact, the 16th member. But I think this is Kyoko. Oh, <laughs> ha! You really took me by surprise there. Why? I know I said it's a you valid question. Anything, but. Super denied, ultra denied, demonic huh. 
denied. Because you see, that's my ace in the hole. Do you want to know my theory for why it's Kyoko? Well, the lines have a similar cadence to her lines. And also, it was a question mark, question mark, question mark. And she is the ultimate question mark, question mark, question mark. And no oh, one would be dumb enough to reveal that, right? No matter how close they were to their friends. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's Kyoko. Chapter 2, Boy's Life of Despair. That was terrible. I'm sad now. I'm going to go cry. For a while. <sighs> Maybe, I don't know. To be continued. Yay, we're gonna be playing more on Monday. We can all take an emotional rest. So Shut up. Game. Crazy Diamond. I wish Crazy Diamond could just do my heart right now. Hey Josh, guess what? Better not. Two of a kind. Ooh, I got an achievement. Do I want to save? I'd like to save some of these students, but I guess I'll... I'll be fine just saving the game. Um, let's go to the main menu. I did just save. That was sad. I hope you all had a good time. Kyotak is still on the screen. One of the few good boys left. Um, thank you so much to everyone who followed. I'm just going to call them out again. It was Cap, Capin Caviar, um, Ditsy T, uh, Gamma Tech 94, and Red Artist 176. So thank you once again for watching. I hope you had a good time. I hope. Uh, Hope you'll return for more Dungeon Rampa when I'm going to be even sadder, I guess, because more characters are dying. Well, I mean, now, the chances of me losing a character that I actually like... Much lower. Much lower now. So yeah, uh, whether it's day, night, evening, whatever for you, have a good one. And hopefully I'll see you again soon. That's all from me. Bye, guys.